Welcome to Whalen, Massachusetts and Broomstones Curling Club, home of the 2023 U21 Curling National Championships. We are here for the finals after an incredible week of curling all around. And we are lucky enough to be calling the women's final a match between Team Shiel and Team Pekowitz. I'm joined today by Sean Franey. I'm Alex Leichter. Sean, how's it going today? Fantastic, so excited to be out here. I think as you said, it's been some great curling, some great sportsmanship, and uh, really just a wonderful week here at this incredible club. So, Yeah, it really has been. The ice has been fantastic. There's been an incredible group of volunteers powering this, uh, and it's been a, a, a pleasure and a privilege to be able to be up here talking about some great curling times. all week and excited to get one final game here, uh, and yeah, glad you're able up. to join us. Yeah, How much time? <laughs> So as, I, as I mentioned, we're here covering the women's what? game, uh, Team Shield versus Team Pekowitz. They got here in, in a little bit of a different way. Team You're Shield was, was undefeated through the round robin and was in the 1-2 page game and won that game to, oh, to way do you lock want her Haley? spot in the final. Uh, Pekowitz, on the other hand, battled up through the week and ended up in the 3-4 game after a couple a great finish to the round robin to make it into that three number three seed won the three four game against berg and then won a super close semi-final against team johnson this morning and that's how we got to our matchup shield versus pekowitz yeah both teams have been playing really well this week and should be a tight matchup team shield been playing free-handed all week so we'll see if there's any fatigue or if uh, if the rest they got this morning helps and on the men's side, we'll, we have a matchup of Wendling versus Hebert. Wendling also undefeated through the round robin and won the 1-2 game to get to the final. Hebert took the long route, was the three seed going into the playoffs, beat Team Gensel and then beat Senzali in a, uh, a pretty controlling game this morning to find their way to the final. Should be a great matchup on the men's side. And if you want to watch that, you can watch the, the feed on the USA Curling YouTube page. Both games are going to be streamed all, all day tonight. Yeah, Wendling, similar to Shiel, pretty dominant through the week. Uh, it just looked really good. Hebert started a little bit slow, but they're they're really catching fire in that game this morning. They were right spot on, so we'll see how it goes. Should be a close game on both accounts. Yeah, certainly a strong game from Hebert this morning, and we'll see if they can ride that momentum into the final, and, and should be a great game over there. But we'll uh, we'll switch our focus back to the to the women's game in front of us, where we have uh, Pekowitz versus Shiel. And Kaylee Price here throwing the lead rocks for Team Pekowitz. We'll uh, try to lob one into the forefoot. I think you can go. Yeah, so I was up and a little out, so. Team Pekowitz happy to come in on their first first rock, and Team Shield happy to peel it right out. I imagine Shield's looking to get to the second, just get warmed up and loosened up, so should be a fairly quick end here. Both of these teams tend to lean towards the, the hit games. They they have blanked a decent number of ends throughout the week. That being said, the women's semifinal game this morning that Pekowitz played in had tons and tons of rocks in play every end, and so it'll be interesting to see how this game develops. Yeah, they had draw weight in their back pocket this morning, and it really was an advantage for them against Team Johnson, who is also a good hitting team. Um, I think... Once they once they get settled in, I think you'll start to see them putting those guards up and putting those rocks in play because I think they know that that's probably their best chance to force the issue. I think you might see a little bit of caution early from both teams. This is a final. You can't quite replicate this feeling and uh, getting taking the time to uh, to settle in, I think, is, is probably what we'll see from both teams. Yeah. Team Pekowitz has played in a final this year. They were in the, the U18 final. Uh, earlier this this curling season uh, and they're they're here again and team shield of course is is no uh no stranger to big big competition as as the defending champs and uh, they uh they're here they're they're here to play and i, I think probably the, the favorite in this game after going uh, undefeated in the round robin oh absolutely and i think after their experience at worlds to your point they both teams come in with experience shield with kind of experience on the bigger stage, but that's not to say that Pekowitz, who is the hometown team, and Close. one thing we've seen at a lot of these uh, competitions Close. this year is Close. the hometown Close. teams definitely have an advantage. Close. So I think uh, it, it's, it should be a good show. I think, Close. like you said, once they get settled in, we'll be ready to go. Um, Time, yeah. Casey? Okay. Yeah, certainly you can tell the hometown vibe here. The the crowd downstairs is uh, uh, pretty big and, and certainly 
it, wherever they're sitting or standing, I have a tendency to be looking over towards this women's game with the, uh, the Pekowitz team uh, making their home at Broomstones. And certainly yeah. I think that the, that comfort level, not just with the ice, but with the location, you get to sleep in your own beds. Uh, all of that makes a pretty big difference. And certainly I, I've mentioned it a few times, but uh, we get the, the, the privilege of playing on this ice every week. And it's a little different when you're scraping between every single draw, but uh, Dan, Dan Osheimer, who is the, the ice tech for this event and for Brimstones, has done a fantastic job this week and all season for, uh, for Brimstones. Yeah. No, the conditions have been absolutely spectacular this week, I think. Of of all the clubs in the country, there's really only a handful that can put on a quality junior national championship, and I think Brimstones is right up there on this list for sure. So. It was interesting, Alex, listening to the chatter before the game from some of the players uh, as the mics came Good online. In. They uh, Is that in? Yeah, definitely trying to keep in. things light, definitely trying to keep things in perspective. I heard uh, the Pequots team go. saying, hey, we're just we're happy we're here. Let's go out and give it our best. Uh, we heard the Shield team just say, hey, we've been here before. Let's do it again. So definitely, uh, definitely good team management, good communication. And so far, it sounds like they're running well. That's what we've been talking. The, the two teams have just been trading hits. So uh, we'll see another oh. hit here from Megan Stapera looking to roll into the house. Oh. Don't. This is the first like time you don't really want to nose, just to make sure you don't leave a corner guard here. And Team oh, Shield yeah, did get Hammer in this game because they won the 1-2 game, so they're the top no. seed no. in the game. And because of that, they get the uh, Hammer five, advantage. Six. As you pointed out there, didn't necessarily want to stick it, but did right on the nose. And so Miranda not wasting any time. She's going to call the draw around and, and see if they have a chance for an easy two here. Line's a little tight. Back Back forward. Forward. Back forward. Yeah, I said, said these teams to be cautious, Back but Back caution line. only goes so far Back when you get a free opportunity Back to get under Back a corner. Back right. Back we need a tick. Back 12. Yes. Okay. Looks Back heavy, and they're trying to get a tick off the, the corner guard. Back Tessa Thurlow working Back to get it over there. Just gets a kiss. Good job, Joe. That's good. Yeah. 14. Great communication there from Tessa Thurlow to, to we really judge it well around. and communicate to Miranda. And, and they really manage that zone. A little heavy, yeah, yeah. but good adjustment. Go right. And, and go just enough way. of a tick, yeah. too. Any any less of a tick and it risks going through. Um, any more of it and it's even more open. So there's a this is probably the right balance there. And they're able to keep that corner guard, too, which I was a little bit surprised on once they were going for the, the tick. But uh, great, great adjustment midstream to, to make that shot. And we'll That's see Megan go after that back sound. You heard Julie hoping for the roll away there. Um, and I, I understand why, just to make it harder for Team Shield to roll back under. But I think at this point with it behind the T2, not, not a bad place to leave it. Makes them tempted at least. Yeah, I certainly got to go after this, and we'll see Jordan Hine here with the takeout oh, attempt. I, I was worried it was going to, like, distract you. Yep! Ten! Got a curl. Got a curl. My bad, no, Joe. Nice Tessa point. Thurlow has certainly impressed all week as, as a one-person <laughs> sweeping machine here with, with this team playing with three all week and certainly able to make a, a huge impact, not not only with her throwing, but with her sweeping. Oh, she's she's been a one-woman wrecking crew, and honestly, it's been impressive. You look at what she's done this season for this team. At different times, she's skipped, she's thrown last, she's thrown front end, she's swept. Uh, there's really there's nothing she hasn't done at some point for this team, and it's been amazing to watch this week. Going... Yeah, when you have when you play three-handed, technically you're throwing three rocks, so you're not sweeping six as a front end player. You're only sweeping five, but it's you and only you for five in a row. It's it's a lot. When you're doing the straight sweeping and the carve sweeping, yeah, it's a lot more work <laughs> than uh, it normally is, especially as you have to pivot back and forth. Right. So she's been incredibly impressive. The other thing too to keep in mind is this ice has been so fantastic. It makes it better for sweepers because you can drag it further, you can hold it longer, all these things. The problem is then as a shooter, you tend to give it to your sweeper because you okay. expect more from them because they can do more. So it definitely, I think it ends up being more of a burden on someone like Tessa in this case. So props to her. Not bad. Yeah. 
Trading hits, as, as we've seen, and uh, Miranda Shield will come down and uh, try to see if she can flop under that corner guard, I think. Yep. Confirmation from, uh, from Miranda there. Yeah, if she makes this good, it's great. You just don't want to leave it kind of with just enough room for, for Julie to come back and hit it on hers. And a bit straight. Sit. Hard sit. 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 Hard Hard That's good. Oh. But we'll is. just hang on. What did you say? So Julia Pekowitz will play a, a hit out on the wing here. Try to make this go away and, and force a potential blank. The one thing you have to be careful of is with that corner guard so close. Uh, I'm not sure it's quite close enough now looking at the overhead uh, that, that it's tickable. Well, and I think for Julia, she's less concerned with it because it's her own, right? If that were a yellow corner guard, I'd 100% agree with you. Good point. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Good. Gotta, gotta settle in here, figure out who's throwing what color, which game we're watching. Appreciate you keeping me in line. I'm, I'm laughing only because I've totally made the same mistake all week, so. Same. Yep. Julia Peckwitz here with the takeout attempt. Kaylee Price trying to keep this as straight as possible to get by the guard. Oh, that is moving way more than they expected. A little bit of a fresh pass there, probably. Just yeah. you don't quite know what it's going to do. And now a free draw for two for Miranda. Halfway down, I thought she had it, and then that second like half that just cut here. really hard. I think that's something to keep an eye on if they end up back out there later. Yeah, my draw in the previous. Yeah, sometimes when you're when you're out there, you want to nice bring the weight up a little just to keep it straight. Also, not sure what what different lines the teams played during practice. When you don't have to throw the draw shot challenge, you have a bit more time to play around on the sheet and learn some paths. There was a good discussion there from the Pekowitz team about you know throwing normal, making sure that it was comfortable, and I think she did. I just I don't think anybody on that team expected it to move quite that much. Can always use it. I'll say even I was surprised to see it. It looks good. Yeah, I, I thought it might it. just clip the back one. I never thought it was gonna get that much six. in the guard. Yeah. 14 6. We're not back. Just beating. Good throw. Great draw from Miranda Shield, and that will cap off a nice two in the first end to get things started. <laughs> we both looked at it. We'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, we are back for the second end. Is your curling club Always website straight. clunky and unworkable? Always are you tired straight. of relying on social media because your website Always just straight. does not work for your members? Finally, the curling straight. management software your club has been Always waiting for straight. is here. Yes, Check out Warm Room yes. Hero at curling.club today. Saw so a little bit of a surprise deuce there in that first end, and Miranda Shea will now take the lead and, and put a stone right on the forefoot. And, Force Pekowitz really to make the first it. move, yeah. and uh, I quick like update on the corner. on sheet three. Oh. Wendling takes a big no, three ender to kick it off over yeah. there. Yeah, a couple of missed hits there early for Kaden Bears team, and 
Wes Wendling and his team were ready to pounce on him. So sure, the boys will flip it around and try and battle back from that one as well. Yeah, lots of lots of curling left on both of these two sheets. I don't think you are. It looks close. We've certainly seen plenty of scoring all week, so I, I would expect to see more as we go today. Yeah, yeah the advantage of those 10 and games uh, really, I, it, it stretches it out more than you might think compared to an 8 end game. And if if you're going to give up three, the first end's the end to do it in. Haley Price throws up the corner guard. Carried a little bit, but does stop just short of the house. And Miranda Shield calls for a draw to the top 12 for Tessa Thurlow. Line's really good. Always straight here. Always straight. Looks there. Four, five. Are we frozen? No. No? Are you sure? Four. Are you sure? Four and a half. Girl. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Good shot by Tessa Thurlow. Carried a bit on her. You hear the 15-2 times, so the speed is great as it's been uh, all week. Again, those times that you hear when they're when they're over uh, they're over five seconds, they're likely hog to hog times. So timing from the far hog line to the, the or from the near hog line to the far hog line. I will say the one of the most impressive things about the Shield team, and I think the reason they're able to be so successful, whether they're three or four, is obviously the communication. The level of back and forth they had as that rock was traveling down the ice was fantastic. Good shot by Kaylee Price to remove a yellow and roll over towards the corner guard. Pokes out just a bit too far, and Miranda Shield will chase it. Great result, though. And you hear there the adjustment by Tessa Thurlow asking to throw 9-5, a little bit heavier weight here, probably trying to avoid what we saw uh, happen to the Pekowitz team where they just got a little bit of extra curl on a fresh path. Absolutely. They're on it, they're on it early, but it looks close. Wow. Got by by basically nothing there. You can... Uh, you can see how much it's swinging on that outside, and both teams are surprised by it because they even they they half expected it and were still surprised at the end. Great sweep by Jordan Hine to keep that straight enough to just squeeze by the guard. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yep. Brings play back to the middle too. So Addison Neal here with a hit attempt. Yep. 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 One curling on them a bit as well. Why, why, it's... Just hit about half the rock and roll over the top of the other yellow right out of the house. I thought you could get them both. Okay. I still like top 12. No, I thought you could get them both. I like that a lot. Three's okay. Yep. Catherine's nice here. Just like this. You can hear Addison say she thought she had a double there if it was going to curl that much. And I think even it, even on a normal hit path, those hits are moving maybe Mine's more than they expected. Straight, if anything. Back four. We're always tapping. Okay, coming out. Jordan Hyde shot it. here Top looks four. a little bit heavy. Are we frozen? Top four, no. Let's freeze. Straight. Straight. We're not frozen. We're. Top 12. Okay. Top 12 is perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot, Jordan. Sorry, 15. I read that one a little funny. Good, spot. Good job by Tessa Thurlow to adjust. Maybe didn't have the perfect read out of out of the hand, but was able to, to stick with it and made the adjustment as it was coming down. That's a that's one other area where one sweeper is tough, where you're the only weight judge. It's it, you're used to having a second opinion to, to check yourself, and you just have to be the one and only judge judge there. And that's a, a great job by her. I feel like as a team, my most accurate Go. sweep calls always come when I'm totally in disagreement with my other sweeper. Go. And if you don't have that person who's kind of making you rethink it, you're right, that can be a, a big challenge. So she's got a, a lot on her shoulders right now, for sure. Yeah. So we'll see another top 12 draw here from Jordan Hine. Really good. Top 12. Mine's really good. 
Close curl. Well, we're all there. 14-9. 14 14 Top eight. Top eight. Good spot, Joel. Works. I think that's true. Good shot by Jordan Hines. Slides a bit about right a foot or two deeper than the call, but Normal. in a good spot. No yeah. hesitation by Julia here, and they're going to try for the hit and roll. I think doubles a, a bonus, but main goal is roll the shooter under the corner. Yeah, get at least one of them out. Whoa. Get the nice roll. Yep, yep, straight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Straight, straight, straight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll, roll, roll. Nice shot. Okay, Great cool. shot there by Megan Stepera. Gets the double, rolls over towards the corner. I think I might have been wrong. I think they might have been going double first and double get the first. roll second. Okay too. But great result, great I'm shot. Like in this, turn. this is where our bias has come into play. That might not have been what you would have played or what I would have played, but it was what they were playing and they made it. So. A little heavy out of her hand from Jordan Hine. Still got him on, curl! Kind of curl, curl to get it to stick around. But no luck, and it weight. will roll out. You heard there, just a, a hair heavy on, on her weight. And we're seeing with this ice, with, a, with a, how the curl is so late. Four. As you bring your weight up, it can make a big impact yeah. on the amount of curl you get. Absolutely. If you're, if you're brooming for a 10 and you get a 9, it's it's the dramatic difference where? on where it hits the rock is going to be okay. a problem for yeah. what you're expecting. It was close to the roll. Line. Line. Good chance here line. for uh, Team Pekowitz to draw around that guard line. they've got. Line. Similar to how oh. Shield had the deuce oh. in the last end, have a so chance to manufacture it. something here. Line, 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 Make sure they get by this line, guard, line, and they do. And now where will it stop? Just behind T, but a great shot from Megan Stepera. It's fully buried. That's okay. Good shot. I think we'll force Miranda Shield to draw under. I think I like this and there. suddenly a little bit of pressure on here for Miranda Shield. Right. She did throw that draw in the first end for her for her second point, but other than that, they haven't thrown many draws. So. Just do it. Yeah, I was like, I'm freeze on the inside if we can. They won't tell me where. So I was just like, do I need to tell? I was like, do I need to tell? I was like, do I need to tell? I don't mind. Do I need to? I was like, what do I need to do? And then here is to be in front of the T line and shot. Right, have to be all the way back to that stone, as you hear Miranda say. Top eight's not bad. Just got to make sure you're shot and in front of the uh, team Pekowitz stone. I like that Miranda is hopping up after those to kind of help Tessa. She's not, you know, she's going to be the freshest on the team. And so giving her a second person to kind of talk through things with and think about it with, I think I, I like a thrower to stay down and, and get through the release. But once they do that, I think it's nice having that second body there for Tessa to give her that reinforcement. Yeah, they've seemed to sort of develop their own kind of unique systems with this three person team. and. Uh, really, really able to communicate super effectively despite having one fewer person out there. And and you see it there. Even Mar Miranda was helping with the weight call a bit and uh, adding that second that second opinion that we were just talking about might be missing. Uh, they, they knew it was a bit heavy, but managed it really well to, to stay a little bit inside nose and, and get shot there. Julia Pekowitz trying to follow her down now, but this looks a hair heavy and a hair wide. Addison Neal trying to carve it over. Nice shot. Good shot. Gets the bump, but does roll a little bit in the open, and I think Miranda should be able to get to nose on this stone. Yeah. I thought we was pretty close. Carving's my favorite thing to do. Did you get a carving? That's why I'm thinking either bunk or half. It's like. It's like my magic. I mean, I'd like to get it out. You like bump at this? Huh? You have all, right? Yeah, you have just more than all. I'm just worried about taking all. Yeah. I, I don't think need it's, like half or back wide. I'm thinking 
as long as you get to nose here, there's no chance of that. I mean, it wasn't awful. If you have all of it. And if like we wreck 12? on the guard, we wreck on the guard. <laughs> I was, I like an 11. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't it's mind like, hack if you'd rather yeah, play that. Yeah, you like an 11 or hack? You like an 11 or hack? Yeah. I'm fine with either. I like 11 here. Okay, let's play an 11. Again, to that point, I like the I'll effective communication from the three of them as they process through this. I think with how that yellow is frozen onto the red and the angle it's on, I understand Miranda's concern about loosening it. I just, I don't know that it's a realistic, you know, concern at this point. And I think the 11, it seems like there's more comfort with the 11 than the 12, so I think the results will be better at that point. And it's quite a privilege to have the athletes mic'd up here where we just get to listen to their whole thought process yep. and, like and really the, the great back and forth they had discussing the pros and cons of the weight and the approach and how much you could see from the hack uh, really makes our job easy when they tell us what they're thinking. Right. I'll say it makes us look like we know what we're doing as opposed to not. Occasionally makes us look a little stupid when we say something and they immediately contradict it, but... Stone is away, and it, whoa, whoa. the guard is definitely in play here. And this will crash on the guard. Shooter will roll to just shot, but all of a sudden, another another kind of sneaky deuce opportunity here. So it could be sort of trading deuces on a, on a miss to start this game. Yeah. The, uh, those corner guards, those incidental corners that have happened have come into play on both these ends. That one just... Touch you through it well, just not in a vice to accommodate for how much it is actually moving there. Um, control. Okay. So we'll see Julia Pekowitz with uh, a nose hit attempt for the deuce. Good. Shot is away here for Julia. Neil with the sweep. Good. Rolls about as far as she could afford, but gets the deuce. Great shot there by Julia Pekowitz to tie up the game. 2-2 going into the third. I don't think I, I think it was pretty clean. I felt pretty clean at least. I don't know. All right, we're three. back here for the third Nicole. end of a, a great start to this game, Nicole. two to two, uh, and Shield will have Hammer in the down, third like end. In. Pekowitz with the call to throw up a center guard. Can you curl it all or no? This one uh, may no, be can't. carrying into the house. No, you can't. It's sitting. It's sitting. It's sitting. It's sitting. It's sitting. Uh, I don't think it is. No, it's not sitting. Okay, just, that's right. Just will get into the house. Not awful. Not what they're looking for, but yeah. not the end of the world in a tie game. Miranda Shield, as as I think we've yeah. come to expect, will go for the takeout and play a little bit open. Yeah, Team Shield more than content here for the uh, the blank unless they can get an easy shot at two. And Team Peko is probably not worried yes. about going too hard for yes. it knowing that they could get it in the next. Hard. Yes! Hard! Hard! Hard roll! Hard roll! Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard roll. Executes the hit. Rolls like over the center. Back? Little discussion there about whether they would hit or guard and they decide to go for the hit. 
you stick this one on the nose, you leave a nice center guard, so it's... Apparently a little bit. Likely roll over a bit. And once we see the overhead, we'll have a... It looks like it does stay for a guard. So that's a, that's a good shot there by Kaylee Price to get the nose hit and be able to play a little bit of a offense with the takeout. Yeah. Line's a little tight. And we see in the second end, Timmy Bear ends up taking one after having some opportunities. Got a curl now. Wait on yeah, it looked like they had a, a down weight, kind of half weight hit Close. for three but yeah. didn't quite yeah. move yeah. Well, the red well, rock well. that was second shot okay. far enough and three. left them That's only sitting is. one in the I end. Am I one three? That works. Yeah. Okay, I like just coming right to it. That's fine. Sorry, I was on a different As the Thurlow's draw comes That's maybe a foot a deep card. and gives the Pekowitz team an opportunity here to play the freeze. It is fully buried though, which is nice for them. Um, forces Team Pekowitz to make a good draw here. Neil here with the freeze attempt. Line. Really tight. Megan Stapero doing all she can to keep it off the center guard. This was tied out of hand. Looks like they are just going to paper by that guard. Great sweep by Megan Stapera. And gets the Yellowstone all the way to the back 12. Phenomenal sweep. I, I honestly, I don't think she, from a lineman perspective, she was much outside the edge of four. So to get it around a guard that's that tight and only six inches off center is amazing. Yep. Yep. Probably a, a few feet heavy and that probably helped, which yeah. isn't a bad thing when you're uh, able to bump the stone yeah. out of the forefoot. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, solid, solid back line on the weight. And a beautiful a hit and roll there by Tessa Thurlow. Like Splits that. the house. I don't think you yeah. can really split the house much further than this. Uh, and set up that deuce opportunity yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. Good good work by Team Pekowitz, but good response by Team Shield, and they're still looking for a two here. So, nose hit, slight roll in here. Try and bring play back to the middle if they can. Gonna take with these stones in the back of the house, it's going to take a lot of shots to bring them together. This stone is really curling on Addis and Neil. Trying to get a piece if they can. Just, just goes by. That was a ton of curl right at the end, too. I thought at the hog line, it still was going to get a piece. It's that same line we saw earlier, and they're just cutting like crazy out there. They'll have to have to make some adjustments in terms of how they burn yeah. those because that's two in a row now that could cost them an extra point each time. I don't mind. Are they really gonna okay. ever drop three? Miranda trying to decide where to put this one so that she doesn't leave an easy double or worse the triple, um, but still gives herself a chance at a multiple point end here. I like to have Jordan Hine throw to the open side away from that. Off Just center top guard, eight. top eight. Always straight side, line's pretty top good. Likely like a response from it. Team Packwood to be a hit and roll off of this stone. Really gotta sit here. Really gotta sit. 14 two. Cannot touch. This one's just a, a few feet heavy, it looks like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Julia Packwood will do all she can to get them Cannot together. The angles end up a little bit okay, difficult the for the double, really actually, I think. It's a pretty steep okay. double, but they're so it. close to the outside of the off. rings that all she has to do is barely clip that outer one, and it'll, it'll be enough to remove it. it does look like that's what Megan Sapera is going to yeah. go for here. Whoa. Clip yeah. the first one, catch the Hard. second, and maybe roll over. Hard. Just the one, but does roll over to the center and is shot. So something that Miranda Shield has to deal with. 
with everything hanging around the back of the house, the, there's a chance that stones start to group, and it, they'll have a couple more chances at, at doubles, I would think. I agree. Yeah, I think it's it's not what they called, but as long as you keep your shooter there and as long as it's shot, it makes it dangerous enough that Miranda and her team Close. have to be careful here. Close. Jordan Hine again Close. here, for, aiming for a Close. nose hit. Nice shot, Joe. Rolls over a bit, but gets rid of the red, and Julia Pekowitz right away calling for the double. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, Megan. Oh. Big wait from Megan Sapera, aiming for this double here. Addison trying to make sure that it gets a piece. Hits the wrong stone first, I think, but gets rid of both yellows. Loses the shooter, but hey, two yellows are gone. That's a much better situation now for Team Pekowitz. They were indicating that it was wide, and I thought, well, if you if you get that other one first, it's fine. They almost got it too thin, but just just thick enough to then push that other one out. That port between those two yellows was just more than a rock's width, so you definitely didn't want it to sail through. Justy, top four, top eight. Justy, always crawl, always crawl. Justy, top eight, top eight. surprised top they're eight's fine. trying to keep this in the top of the house. Always crawl here. Kind of always invites crawl. Team Pekowitz to try either the hit and roll or the double. If you go yeah, back house, eight. Kind of yeah. just have to play an open hit and don't have many roll opportunities. I think their one fear is if they are back house, at some point Julia may bail and just throw the freeze. And it's a risky call, but if she ever does make it, it takes you out of the end. So Julia Pekowitz will line up a takeout here. Yeah. She's got a few options here. If she hits it thin enough, there is a double. But if she just gets it thick enough and plays the right weight, she can get the roll under her red, and then that's also going to put the pressure. So to your point, I think going top house was a lot messier than maybe Miranda was thinking about at the time. Good. Good. And you can get a little aggressive with this roll. If you roll too far, you end up in front of the yellow, too. Just want to make sure you keep the shooter. Absolutely. Get it over as much as they can to get some roll. I don't mind the just. All right. Just a nose hit, but yeah, it is shot stone, so Miranda has to deal with it. Oh, uh, I didn't get it. Now Miranda's looking to play that same roll to see if That's she can true. get it, but. I just like nose. <laughs> there they go. Discuss just nosing it. Okay. Even if she gets the roll, she'd be high enough. She'd have a. Can you roll out your honor? Leave Julia a chance for the draw round. Yeah, a little so. tight. We can look at the roll under. Okay. I like the nose hit too. It's it'll now be so high that it, a roll will be a little bit tricky. You re, you'll have to roll quite a ways to outcount the backstone. Right. There was a comment there about if it's tight, if it, if the line is there, then maybe we can look at it. Ben. Got lots of room. Shot Got away here from Miranda right. Shield. Always crawl side. Looking for the Ten. nose hit here to sit to. Really got a curl. Also, Thoreau's got some work to do to get this to nose. Gets it done. Ten. Ten five. Just the pretty effortless footwork that she has there going back and forth between sides of the stone. But that's that's where you can have a disadvantage with one sweeper just in the, the transition time from side to side. But I, she might be faster than two sweepers would be switching. <laughs> she uh, she swivels really well. Okay, just control. Okay. And get a get a roll. Make sure you're under. Julia Pekowitz. Throw in the takeout again. I think we'll try to Good. roll under the center guard if she can. Good. Yeah. Definitely not. Roll. Down. No, no. Oh. Shots away, and they're trying to get it to curl again. Yep. 
just knows, so Shield doesn't have to worry about that I stone. Like and definitely looks like they're going to play for the draw, try to get another deuce. I'm like yep. in the 15 here. I feel like I have to let it go. Yeah, just a hair wider than yeah, I think she wanted on the slide, and that that one spot seems to be running a little straighter than I think yeah. they're expecting. Hey, I'm like in the 15. I, I like didn't see the first time. Yeah, you same spot the as the yeah, shot before, and pretty much the same result. Okay. Just do it in the first. You got a good one. Yep. Uh -huh. It was a little hot. You're on it. One thing Miranda will need to be careful with here is just making sure she's got enough ice out on this swingy path to to never come anywhere near the guard. She'll be all there. Yeah. And definitely, definitely there. preferences for top house. If you're ever back, back four, Whoa. Whoa. I wouldn't be surprised to see Julia Let's freeze. Looks a little hot. Especially undercover. Make it to 13 9. It's a bit heavy, just kind of needs to grind in. Hard to get. Megan's the pair are trying to get it all the way through the house. I think it's just enough she might be able to. And that's a little bit of a missed opportunity there for Team Shield. Only get the one to take, do take the lead and will be up three to two going into the fourth. I'm so glad I remember how many rocks. Okay. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back here for the fourth end, uh, Shield with a three to two lead over Pekowitz. Here with uh, Sean Franey, who is coach of Team Rose uh, on the men's side. And uh, we've we've watched a pretty good back and forth game so far. Similar story from Team Shield. They get the lead, they throw it in the house, and. Uh, Pekowitz is just going to play that game and throw the takeout right back. Yeah, I think Miranda's going to be a little disappointed that she didn't get the deuce there um, and that she allowed herself to be forced in that situation. But at the same time, she's not going to let it bother her. She's going to keep the same approach. And if she gets a force from uh, Team Pekowitz right back, then it works out. Good. Small roll. Control. In the uh, men's Close. game, we're Close. seeing quite a lot of stones in play in the third, so they're they're ending up nearly half Not an end curl. behind uh, this Not game as this one's been moving moving along pretty Not quickly. Hard. That's okay. Megan just trying to. Harvard is the funniest thing ever. Just really up. It was hit from Shiel, and Pekowitz will call a hit right back. I think this is Control. kind of the the comfort zone for both teams. They're Same they're more than happy it. to trade hits for a while. A couple of these deuces have, have been from fairly clean ends where there was just one miss near the end. And I think no oh, reason based on this scoreline oh, for either oh. team to differ drastically from That's their initial game plan. No, I agree. I think right now they're oh. both teams are happy kind of shortening the game a little bit. Really hard, really um, and if they get an okay, easy deuce along the way, right. like both of them have to this point, then okay. they'll take it. Um, but they're not gonna they're not gonna get into a situation like what we see in the men's game right now where anybody's particularly pressing for that larger number because they know that it that could swing either way. Top four, always straight. So that always roll, straight. roll out, but we'll still top just four. see top four from Team top Shield. Four. Tessa Thurlow jumping up to help. 15-5. But I think Jordan Hine is, is going to be able to carry That's this good. most of the way. 
the few extra strokes from Tessa Thurlow. Despite being a single sweeper so often, it, she doesn't seem to show any signs of slowing down. Still tons of energy and, and ready to go here in this game. Absolutely. Going so far as to finish her own rock there at the end of that shot, so. so Addison Neal now with a takeout attempt. It's a foot of roll, but I don't think we'll see a different Over strategy from Maya. Maya. And another hit called Over right back nine for nine. Uh, Jordan Hine. Okay. Yeah. A shot there by Jordan okay, Hine gets four. the nose hit, and we'll continue to see a few trades of hits here. We were talking earlier in the week about how much of this field is U18 eligible still, and it's interesting seeing in both these games. Um, on the men's and the women's side, we have one of the few U21 specific teams in, in Wendling and, uh, and Shield against uh, teams that yep. were in the U18 finals, respectively, and Hebert and yep. Pekowitz. So it's really yep. cool to see kind of that dichotomy that you have here and what the experience brings yep. to the game. Good. 10-4, good weight. And we talked about it last game, but I, I think it bears repeating yep. that, that that U18 Nationals is, is a great development uh, event that, that has really shown shown uh, good benefit for teams as they're coming up. You don't have, as you're younger, you don't have to go right to the U21s and you can get a little bit of experience. And that may be part of why we're seeing a younger field as well, because there's there's more opportunities early to develop when you're younger through the U18s and get a bit more competitive experience than than I used to have when I was a junior, just trying to trying to bang my way into the uh, U21 event as a as someone who was about eight years younger than than a lot of the field. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think you, what you're seeing is we've always had in the U21 field, we've had 14 and 15 year olds competing, but their relative success may not have been there the way it is now because they're getting reps at that U18 level leading up to this. You spoke to the calendar yeah. as well, I think, in our last yeah. game about even just having the, the event in advance of this. So having that U18 Nationals in January gets some really good uh, pressure reps and pressure experience for these younger teams like as they come into the U21s and is maybe gives them a, a hair of an advantage. And over on, uh, on sheet three, Wes Wedling had a draw to the eight foot for his deuce yes! and came up just a hair short. Yes! The guys pounded it the whole way, but yes! weren't quite able to drag it. So that'll be a Hard fourth test. one Hard! in the fourth. And Wedling will take a Gotta four to go. one lead over Team Bear. That's okay. Sweet. Hard out. Nine, two. <laughs> As we see Jordan Hines hit attempt roll over to the other side of the sheet. We we'll see both teams have to switch handles of the of the takeouts, but still throwing takeouts. Right. No yeah. change in strategy, just a slightly different line. <laughs> Megan Stapera yeah. throwing here, who uh, was yeah. on the uh, the women's club Hard. national championship team uh, about a month ago. Hard. Maybe less than that, just a few weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, fine. She's had a she's had a very busy spring in general but from u18s to the final qualifier for u21s to clubs and now this it's back to back to back and despite the uh, curling history built into her her last name she is a relatively new curler only picking it up uh about a year and a half ago in in real seriousness and uh, has 
has really picked up the game super fast. I, I talked with her, her dad, Bill, a little bit, and they, they've been out playing constantly as, as she's been prepping for clubs and for, for juniors uh, and as he's been prepping for seniors. So I uh, really picked up the game super quick and uh, it's showing dividends here is she's got a gold medal in clubs and is looking for another one here in the junior women's. First rock Whoa. from Miranda coming in here. Nose. Nice hit on the nose thing. there. Yeah. Try to get a little roll to the middle there just to make the peel opportunity that Julia will have later a little harder, yeah. but didn't quite get the roll they were so looking for. So Julia will throw her first. We're on Good. Skips Rock here. The men's game is on Lead Rocks, so it's certainly two two very different paced games. The ice crew will appreciate that. They won't have to clean two sheets at once on the uh, fifth end break. I cannot see it. It looks okay. It's staying pretty straight. I think just a, another chance here to. Uh, to thank the ice crew as well. It, as we see, Julia Pekowitz does roll all okay. the way across the house and just Good. out, just, just out of the house. Uh, but doesn't really cause too much harm. There's a chance Miranda could freeze here, but uh, she'll she'll likely keep it a little bit above, and Pekowitz will have the chance for the blank still. Just do it. I'm thinking of 14-8. But the whole the whole team of, of uh, ice crew that that's been out working tirelessly all week to, to keep this surface in such great shape has has truly been fantastic and they've also been powered by uh, an incredible group of volunteers in the warm room in the kitchen uh, at the door at the bar and like really really uh, showing the hospitality here at, at Brimstones and uh, it's been it's been great to see so many so many people get involved uh, and really put on a uh, a great event for these athletes. Absolutely. I think e even beyond the people that have been here volunteering, Broomstones kind of maintains the tradition of the host families. Uh, and so all of the participating teams had a host family from the members at this club assigned to them. Uh, some came to watch some of the curling, some offered recommendations and spots to hang out. Um, and just that kind of generosity and hospitality has really been great. Yeah, 13-8. Oh, yeah, I think okay. Junior Nationals has always been a, a pretty special event with, with some of those uh, traditions and, and shows of hospitality and, and certainly good to see a lot of those things continuing uh, in, in great ways. So we see Miranda Shield does come all the way down to that stone in the back, but that little bump unlocks it. And I think Julia Pekowitz will have a, a fairly straightforward blank attempt here. Needs to hit outside of nose on this yellow and roll her shooter away for the blank. She appeared to take kind of an extra second in the hack compared to what she normally does. And I think that's just a moment to calm yourself down and prepare yourself for the shot. They have this. Great, Good. great management of that, that moment and great execution on the shot. And with that blank, we'll uh, maintain the score of 3-2 Shield going into the, four, into the fifth end. Pekowitz will hold on to Hammer. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life.
All right, we're back for the fifth end. Uh, nice clean blank there for Team Pekowitz. And we'll see if we have a, a similar Always story here going. in the fifth. Miranda Shield going right into the top four with the, the first shot. Always straight. It'll be interesting to see if Pekowitz sticks with the hits in an Always odd end. You here. might guess she will. Oh. Yeah, I don't particularly think she'll go hard for the steal or, or for the deuce, but um, yep. Yep. Miranda certainly not pressuring her to, to try and change up the strategy either. Good shot by Tessa Thurlow, right to the top eight. And as we expected, Julia Pekowitz calls the takeout. Oh, Haley Price oh, zips oh. out of the hack. Yep. Hard. Coming down, control. Yep. Hard. Yes. Gotta go, gotta go. Yep. Trying to get control. a roll Hard. over to the wing. Go, 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 go. Any roll? Okay. okay. Get a, like, any roll, but only an inch of roll. Yeah. And I don't think... I don't think that'll change much here. Okay, Why worry high. about the five rock free guard zone or the no tick roll when you can just mock it? Tessa close. Close. Thurlow yeah. here, throwing the, the open takeout. Just close, just close. Right on the nose. Nice. Small roll. Nine, eight. And you heard her there uh, as she let it go say little set just that that good communication this team has where they're they're even with only three they're passing on as much information as they can to each other i think we've we've been doing a good job of talking about and highlighting the communication from team shield but i don't want it to go overlooked but the communication from team pekowitz has been impeccable as well um they've They've really done a good job kind of managing the pressure. And I think in a lot of times when the nerves are high in a final like this, it's easy to get a little quiet or almost talk too much. And I think they're doing a really good job of having kind of constructive, productive discord throughout the event. They've, they've played a few different lineups this week. And uh, and no matter where where you align them, they seem to really uh, be able to keep keep their focus and, and really keep that uh that positive attitude and good communication throughout as they even as they're making adjustments throughout the week and it's and certainly that kind of a, an attitude and resilience has gotten them here in this game yeah it's definitely their challenges have been different than i think what you would see with team shield playing with three obviously but they've managed them well enough to get to this point you can see why it shows on the ice Addison Neal will throw another takeout here. That last draw finishing right on the button. And there you have a great view of the huge crowd behind this sheet. Certainly a lot of a lot of uh, the, the local crowd cheering on Team Pekowitz, but also a lot of uh, teams in the crowd and family members of, of all four teams out here. Lots of people have shown up to, to watch the end of this game, the end of this week. We're located up here in the loft at the Broomstones Curling Club, and even this is pretty full, probably the fullest it's been all week. So. Lots of people watching, and some people playing pool and foosball, too. If you hear any uh, bang clacking around behind us. Over on the, the men's game, uh, Caden Bear is looking at a, a trouble yeah, house a little bit. Uh, Wendling is sitting four. Hey, Bear does uh, have hammer, so. Yeah, got to now find a way to open up the four foot and score. And Jordan Hine there with a good nose hit. And Addison Neal will try to do the same right back. Gets a bit of a roll there, but sticks four. around uh -huh. in the 12-foot and is on the wing. Kind of puts the rock in a different spot. And this is that spot where we've seen a couple stones curl. So 
Miranda Schill and team will have to make sure they're making that adjustment. Jordan being a lefty, this is her out turn, so you would hope that if she's able to kind of run it a little bit, it's able to get through any of that curl section. Yep, forward! Wow, and even that one took off. If if it had been another four feet of run, it probably would have missed it, so definitely the, a tricky spot. And you heard the 9-7 call. It was, it was pretty good normal weight, and just right in, hog line in, it, it started to go pretty hard. Yeah. Not a not a big miss there given that the way that this game is is progressing but it does give megan stapera a free draw gives the team a, another chance to learn yeah. the draw weight get get a little bit of that Good weight in their up. back pocket for uh, for later in the game yeah it's interesting you see julia having megan draw to the other side of the house this time and I understand oh, no. wanting to mix it up a little bit just It'll so they're not throwing the same line sitting. over and over again. Okay, but when you have a line like that, really that left that side that's that tricky, yep, curl. is it? Curl. would you not maybe consider having them throw okay. that over and over again that's just fine. to see if they, they you do get that miss with them trying to catch the adjustment? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think that's a good point. Certainly a spot okay. that you may want to test out. At the same time, maybe you also play this side where for your last, you get a pretty consistent line for the, for the peel. That's a good point, because if they make it, Close. you have to make it right back. Close. Not sure yeah. I agree with myself. Just playing yeah. devil's advocate for fun here. I like here. it. I like Fire it. Test. Close. Close. Yep. Really digging into the strategy of open house takeouts. Yeah. I feel like you and I should clarify for the fans at home that we we really don't know what we're doing up here, and we appreciate you all tolerating us for the week. So. Yeah. Please uh, use that mute button judiciously. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we're, we're trying to trying to keep uh, keep it light, but uh, but appreciate everybody tuning in all week. Against the pair, will will roll out. I think just a, a little bit of an extra kick there, a little a little fast with her hit, and we'll get now uh, Miranda Shield will get a chance to practice the draw. Try and put one in the top four, biting top four, maximize the distance that Team Pekowitz will have to roll out. And in games like this, it really is it is key to take the opportunities you have to, to learn the draw weight and learn learn the paths. When you can sort of just kind of get hypnotized by the takeouts and kind of forget to, to keep an eye on the speed. So the opportunities you do have to throw a draw, you got to make sure that you're learning from them. Absolutely. This is... This is kind of a practice moment for her, knowing that at some point in this game, she's going to have this exact same shot. Oh, that was perfect. Two, three. Three. Watch it. Watch it. Yup. I got a 16. How to make sure that they get this into the house. Really good. And we'll get almost all the way into the house but enough into the house heard them say 16 2 on the hog to hog so impressive uh carry they were able to get out of that zone we're in the the men's game caden ebert has a draw to the button for two in the fourth end to try to chip away at that lead yeah, you got to roll to be in because yeah. it's um, just barely. Caden just made a tap on his first, so he should know the line and the okay. weight. Wes had a chance to cap it off, but was just a little wide and a little heavy. Yeah. We'll see Julia Pekowitz with the takeout Control. attempt here. She's got to make sure that she rolls in. Can't nose hit this. Rolling out is better than uh, a nose hit here. Agreed. Great shot there from Julia Pekowitz. Gets back over into that tricky spot we were talking about. So right. we'll see if Miranda has has made the adjustment. And no no pr miss from Caden Eber. He makes a great draw for two to tighten that game. Now it's four to three Wendling going into the fifth. Was it 
Every time I ask you, like, oop, I didn't stop. It's like a 45. <laughs> Miranda will try to roll as uh, pretty much as far as she can, ideally towards the center line, but uh, make sure that she's all the way in the house, make the, the peel attempt a bit trickier. Ten! Whoa. Whoa, whoa. You heard her say when she came down, just a 10. Um, so you know she's throwing a little okay. bit less, so we'll see if that what it does on that line. Again, we see that, that big late curl in that spot. Hoggle, at the hog line, it probably had the nose almost, and then hit about hit less than half. Rolls across the sheet, and that was with Tessa working hard on the stone to keep it there. So I I can't imagine if you're how much you could get curl out of it if you needed to make it curl at that point. So Julia Pekowitz here with a a takeout and roll out attempt here for the blank, trying to keep the hammer going into the sixth end. Shot is away. Addison Neal trying to keep it on the outside to get the roll away. Call, call, call. And they have to switch there as it gets to nose, and it will just stick around. So no blank, but a score of one to tie up the game. So at the halfway point, we've got a 3-3 three, three battle between Team Shield and Team Pekowitz. So I was like, maybe move it. And it's time for the fifth end break, brought to you by Warm Room Hero, the intu okay. intuitive curling right. club software that takes the stress out of schedules, okay. registrations, and more. Me. Warm Room Hero, a platform like, built for curlers it. by curlers. Okay, okay. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. Yep. And we will see you in a few minutes for the sixth end. Let's say you're in high school and there's a sport you like, but sometimes you think, you know, it might be cool to try a new sport. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Yeah, I think like if we raise our level of play a little bit more, like, I think we'll be ahead of them.
played really, really well after the break last game. Let's bring it back. Go. Yeah. Let's do it. So center guard. So you just keep the key one nice there. And we're back here in the fifth end break from the 2023 USA Curling Junior National Championships, lives from the Brunestones Curling Club in Wayland, Massachusetts. Right there, you see the uh, hardware that these athletes are co competing for. You've got the junior men's and junior women's trophies, the medals for first, second, and third place in each division, as well as the silver bowls that the champions will receive. Years and years of names on each of these trophies from curlers all over the country who have gone on to represent the U.S. on the world stage. I know, there are a few Okay, well, Kaylee, at least you... My, my gloves are fully over across the sheet. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm just more like... That's true, that's true. I totally thought it was... 45. I'm more just like I want like a good end, you know? That was a good save. Tess, we're up. We're up. We have hammer. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. You're right. Okay, Kaylee, you have 20 seconds. Twenty, uh, fifteen seconds. Sorry, I'm just so used to getting the hack. I well, like a one or three. Could I give up thirteen half points? Ten seconds. You're good. Just a three. <laughs> okay, you can go. And we're back. Maybe you heard what we were saying for the last five minutes. Maybe you didn't. If you didn't, I promise you it didn't matter. But we see a, a center guard thrown up by Team Pekowitz, so potentially a little bit of a, a change of strategy to, to try to put a little bit of pressure on Team Shield. Team Pekowitz is fairly confident that Team Shield is going to make their hits, so why not mix it up and see if they feel the same about their draws? That last one slips just back button. So Team Pekowitz will have a chance to come around their center line guard and make a good freeze here and really put the pressure on. Yeah, important shot early in this end to, to try to put some pressure on Team Shield. I think we can go. Curl, looks really close. Go guys, go, go, go. You gotta go for weight too. Curl it, curl it, curl it. She's done a good job of giving it to the sweepers and letting them finish it in, so. Go, 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 right to it, right to it, right to it, right to it, right to it. That's pretty good, Kaylee. Gets a little bit of a berry and almost gets down to it, but a great a great spot. All of a sudden, they're in a little bit of control here in this house, even though they're not, uh, even though they're not counting. Yeah, same. Good shot. Where? So we'll see the shield team try to freeze into this pile. The first uh, first zipper maneuver we've seen all game. See if they can alternate red okay. and yellow to. Mine's still good. But will it's just so slip it's by, 14, go all the way to the back 12. Okay. So it, another yeah. chance for Team Pekowitz to, 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 to get some offense back. going without okay. hammer. Like a four. Uh -huh. four. Four. That line was perfect. Just a hair too heavy. Jordan kind of knew it out of out of Tessa's hand. She called it, thought it might be a little deep. And a good illustration of that super late curl that we, we have here. It got by the stone on the top four and over buried behind it to the to the back twelve. Right. Okay. Whoa. 
there hasn't been a lack of curl all week, that's for sure. I'm back. This is a ton Sorry. of fun for shot making. So this one? This one also looks a little heavy. Okay, yeah, curl it. Curl it. It's not through, it's a 14. Now I'm trying to get this to that that back yellow stone. Okay, that's okay. Okay, that's fine. Starting Just taps to, it. Just a little high. Starting a, uh, two okay. different piles of freezes here, one in the back 12, one it. in the forefoot. Shield discussing their options there. They knew they could draw, but they also thought they're eligible to peel at this point. Is it worth opening it up? And they chose chose the draw with the miss being heavy. Yeah, all of a sudden both teams seem pretty happy to play a, a much messier game than we've we've uh, seen in the first few ends. Where where that that precision that where they have to learn from those few and far between draws in the first few games. See if they can really start to execute some precise draws here. As we see this one just crash on the center guard. That's fine. Is that less? I like just nine, yeah. I like just coming this way. We may be seeing less, yeah. just them both both teams trying to learn the speed of the ice here now. Right. Every team has thrown some draws here and there, mostly if if it was the first rock at the end or if there was a miss along the way by the other team, so it's been limited, and I think now you're now you're seeing everybody's throwing draws. Not to mention the fact that it's after the fifth end break, and things might be a hair quicker. Line. Always got to keep in mind the mop, yeah. line. which seems okay, to yeah, speed up the ice line. a little bit, or okay. something else about the fifth end break. Well, Hard to know exactly what it is, but the mop always gets okay, blamed. Well, well. I, I like the argument okay, about the pebble fine. they put down in front of the hacks. It's you a it's not up. that it makes the ice any faster, but it makes the perception We're of your slide well, faster. I'm just drawing. I like you know how do we peel these? I like that draw. Me too. Just top four. Top eight is fine. Yeah. yeah. I was really nice to get there like to that, that spot. Tried the outturn draw there and just couldn't quite get it around. Came up a little short, so... Team Shield is going to be more than happy to play the same draw attempt. Line's pretty good. At some point, they, they will have to reckon with that stone in the top four, you'd think, the red stone there. Always curl. We may see both teams consider some, some tap backs or run backs. This is hanging out a little further than they expected, but the weight looks really good for what she wanted. Nice sweeps. I think I just like the same shot. Good sweep by Tessa Thurlow does leave that stone fully open there. And if you're a little heavy, that's okay. Listen to what Julia likes to call here. And I think I said that right after she'd finished calling. <laughs> I like. I. I mean, she's she's saying she prefers the draw here. One because they just threw it, but two. I think this gives you the highest margin for error, and I think she sees that. If it's a hair heavy, they tap it back. If it's just in the right, pocket, it's perfect. Line, line. Big thing is get by those guards and just line, find line. a place for this red stone in the in the curl mix now, in the forefoot. Curl, curl. Really hard curl. Really hard curl. Looks a really bit heavy. Curl. They're really trying really to get as hard. much really curl really as hard. possible. Okay, that's not awful. Just yeah, definitely. Okay. Nose hit. I like here. May leave a double if, you like both? if Team Shield can get inside nose enough. Okay, let's go 10-5. Like yeah, that. calling calling a softer weight here. I think the double's definitely there, but even if you just punch it out into the open and occupy that forefoot, it's really leaves them in a really controlling spot. Close. Big shot here from Close. Jordan Hine trying to hit and roll in, Close. take control of the top of the forefoot. This one also here. hanging more than I think they expected. Whoa, whoa, straight. That's fine. Oh, wait. Removes the I red, the but rolls all here. the way to the side of the 12 foot. It's got to get to it. A little less than the with one. no hesitation will try to draw to the top four, top oh, button. Yeah. You got it. Megan just threw back line on her last, but the line was good. So if she can throw the same here with a bit less weight, she'll be in a great spot. 
We're a little tight. Get them up. How up? Um, okay. Sweepers think this one's a bit up weight. On the back one. Definitely looks like back line. Yeah, it's a 13 5. Actually, not much to catch this until the back 12 foot. All right, well. We'll, okay. we'll settle down on that, that yellow. Top, yep. top eight is fine. I'm getting a hairless ice. And a quick okay. score check from the men's game. We saw a blank end in the fifth. Huh? The first sort of clean and empty end in that game. So after five ends, uh, Wendling has the lead four to three over a bear with hammer. Do we need backing? Back four, backing. Do we need backing? Yes. Okay. Close straight. Yeah, that end had a, a few opportunities where it looked like Wendling might be able to get their deuce, but in the end, they ended up blanking after a couple of misses, so. Yep. And another stone them. that just goes okay, yep, 13, a bit seven. further than, okay. than either team wanted and carries right back to the same spot that Addison Niels ended up. So okay, really? another chance for Julia Pekowitz. Whoever's going to make this draw first is going to be in command at this point. You got this. Uh, 90? 85-90. As you can see from the overhead cam there, Team Shield sitting shot one and three. Pekowitz sitting two and four. Big shot here for Julia Pekko. It's a chance to, to put one into the top button, maybe for shot, but at least to really lock in that force of one. Back eight. This one's also heavy coming down. Looks really good, curl! Now they can try to curl, curl it to get some of that yellow. But just a little bit too much weight goes right by and we'll use that same backing. Everyone's just got like that 11 weight just through yeah. when they need to, to try to use their sweepers a bit more here on this path. I think similar to what we, we said kind of at the beginning of this end, that just both teams are kind of trying to learn the, learn the draw weight of this ice now. Yeah, and I think, you know, Team Pekowitz had a strategy of getting rocks in play and, and forcing the issue with Team Shield. And so far, it's still been as evenly matched as the rest of the game has been on the hits. It's... Miranda throwing her first here this end. Trying to close the door on this outturn draw and... Secure a deuce. Big thing here is got to be front of the T line here. We hear a, a three call early from Tessa wait. Thurlow. Gotta go wait. Miranda definitely did a good job of giving it to her sweeper. I think they've got a chance to get this all I the think, way there. Maybe. I think they can. Now you got to move it in. Hard test. Hard test. Just a fantastic sweep by Tessa Thurlow. Great throw by Miranda Shield. They manage that stone all the way to bite the, the button and sit to and don't leave much access to that stone for Team Pekowitz. He does have that intern tap if she wants to do that on the red. I think that's probably the lowest wrist shot. I think you need hack. Okay. You might be able to do it this way. Okay. No, you so. might be able to get to that yellow with like a that back line weight we saw her throw on her last stone. Yeah. We saw that path curl a bit. Your best bet is and she did way, just like miss that back way. yellow. So you think if she throws it pretty similarly, she might be able to, to get one, maybe both of those yellows moving a little bit. Really only has to move them two feet each and she could be sitting one or two. So I, yeah, it's kind of the same path she just threw with the same weight. Okay. I did give it a lot. Like back eight? Yeah. Okay. Key will be weight here yeah, as, yeah. as the uh, line, that curl sensitivity here. If you get a little bit heavy, the curl will be later and, I, and we could see it just slide by. 
She's, she's calling calling for back gate. I think she had kind of just through on her last, and she's taken a little less broom, so this one should definitely be in the sweeper's hands at some point. Uh. Julia Pekowitz here with the little tap against two. Plenty of weight. This looks like it might be closer to hack on this one. Trying to get it to curl to get any of that yellow that they can. Will get enough to bump the yellow out of the forefoot slightly and out of count stone. I think that's like about as good as I And leave Miranda Shield with all, only the choice to draw for her too. Good shot. Force her to make the same shot again. See what happens. Not, not the, the exact execution that Julia Pekowitz was looking for there, but the key thing was making sure that she got one of those yellow stones out of the forefoot, limit the damage here, and this is no cake. This is no easy draw for, uh, for Miranda Shield. She's got to really be precise here and get all the way to the inside of the nose of that yellow stone. Definitely not a gimme. Shot away here from Miranda Shield. And right out of her hand, uh, you see Tessa Thurlow say, this is not close and it's not not worth trying to get it there. So we'll just see a score of one for Team Shield to take a four to three lead over Team Pekowitz going into the seventh end. Megan, watch out. Just because you're not a professional athlete doesn't mean that you should accept less. The beauty about what Thorne does is our product quality is the same whether they're in the athletic line or whether they're just for the everyday person. Thorne has kept true to never compromising on quality, never compromising on efficacy, never compromising on safety for not only athletes but for everyone who would use their products. All right, we're back here for the uh, the start of the sixth end, uh, or the start of the seventh end, and uh, in a game that is now four to three shield. And I now am uh, lucky enough to be joined by Brett Jackson, chair of the USA Curling Board. Brett, glad to have you here. Yeah, glad to be here. So much excitement around junior curling in the United States right now. Uh, you know, some teams that have really just come out of nowhere. Uh, and, but have taken yeah, this competition by storm. Uh, it's been Fine. fantastic to see, and, and I've been watching from afar, uh, but now that I, I'm here, you really get to hear, feel the energy uh, in, the, in the whole place. Um, even the competitors that are, that are out, they're here, they're having a good time. Uh, they're watching their, uh, their former uh, compadres here uh, compete for the gold medals, and uh, that's just glad to be here. Yeah, it's been a great event so far. I think uh, Broomstones has done a, a fantastic job hosting it. It's a it's a great facility for all those things you're talking about. Having a great crowd, a lot of places to hang out. Got a pool table behind us, uh, and certainly seeing some some incredible sportsmanship from the teams. I think that's really what you're hoping to see in juniors. Yeah, I think it's one thing that sets curling apart from other sports, right? Is that these kids they've they don't just know each other from here. I mean, some of them, of course, met this week. But they know each other from camps, from other competitions. They've developed friendships. And, you know, sometimes 
other teams form, you know, in the future because of those relationships that have been built. When kids age out, right, there's other kids that need to find uh, teams. And so this the curling community that we have in the United States is really strong at the youth level because of all of that. And I think one thing that, that Sean and I have been talking about uh, this week, too, is the you're seeing a lot of young teams develop even faster than, than they used to with partially, partially with the U18 event uh, as a really great development uh, tool for a lot of these younger teams. And they're using that as a launching board to come into the U21s uh, ready to play with a lot of competitive, uh, high pressure games under their belt. And you, you see here two, two teams that were in the finals of the U18 uh, events facing up against the favorites in the field and, and really uh, showing themselves well. Yeah, we'll talk more a little about uh, junior curling and the development in the United States, but uh, aggressive end being put up, right? Center guard, corner guard. Uh, there's going to be some rocks in play, I think. Yeah, we certainly saw a shift in strategy from the first half. Coming out of the fifth end break, both teams were ready to mix it up. Uh, we've, we've now seen guards. We've seen the come around. That, that sixth end was a, a really back and forth end. Neither team could quite make the shot to the, the the button to get either a two or a steal, but but suddenly what was a uh, an open hit game has become a pretty complex uh, finesse game, and and we'll see. I'm guessing we'll see that continue to happen throughout the rest of the, the evening. And we see here Addison Neal trying to get that come around the center guard, just slide a, a little bit deep, give the. Team Shield a chance to uh, make the freeze now. And I think this this may be the first end where we've seen Team Shield throw a guard all game uh, with their first stone. So certainly a recognition that that now the, the ends are getting a little bit more complex, and uh, we'll see Jordan Hine try to try to launch the stone right onto the button. Well, you, I think what what we see is. Uh, you know, in this particular situation, since literally half of a 10 in game was spent really defensively, uh, getting your draw weight in in the second half of the game is going to be hard. Uh, and especially when you're talking about you know, folks on a junior level, um, having that, you know, just up and down, back and forth, hitting game, uh, and then making the transition to an offensive game is really hard. Yes, and, and I think we saw that a little bit in the last end. We we saw, like, not quite the precision on, on all the shots, but but starting to get closer, and, and I think the, they'll start to get a little bit tighter and tighter with their draw weights, uh, and and we'll, we'll see... We'll see a pretty exciting finish here. Certainly in that, that hit game, you got to take advantage of, of the few draws you have to try to learn learn the draw weight. So you talked about curlers developing at a younger age uh, faster. What I really hope that we can do in the future is uh, have mixed doubles offered at a, you know, a younger level. I think having a junior mixed doubles program in the United States will benefit us in the long run, uh, developing Olympic athletes. Uh, but just, just hair down, even if it's it, for, for recreational juniors, uh, I think mixed doubles is, is a ton of fun. Uh, it's so high energy. And really like in this that. particular situation, if, if, a, if a curler has a lot of mixed doubles experience, they'll be able to make that transition between an offensive game and a defensive game and back and forth a lot easier. Yeah, and I think the mixed doubles game is is very well suited for juniors. It's it's such an active version of the sport. Not that that four person isn't active, but doubles really amp like uh, brings up the amplitude there. And you see people running back and forth. There's really no time, no dead time at all in the doubles game. And I think that fits really well for younger curlers and uh, who who may be a bit quicker on their feet than uh, than. Uh, some of the, the older curlers you do see in in doubles right now in the U.S. A lot of a lot of young teams are really doing very very well. And if you if you're able to start that development at a at a junior level, I think we'll see that even even at a, a stronger level for for some of the young up and coming uh, adult curlers uh, really making their mark in the mixed doubles world. We're one. And th we see that draw there just slide a bit deep. So Pekowitz is still shot. Uh, and no, Megan Stapera now will attempt to throw a, a second counter into the, the button area. Teams just trying to find that top of the button here. Where? We're hot. We're hot. 
Yeah, and, and this is an area, you know, they're calling that it's warm out of, out of, out of uh, her hand. But, you know, this is an area where even if she went a little light, it wouldn't be the end of the world here, right? Just blocking the path, uh, maintaining the, uh, the advantage of, of having rocks in the top of the house, uh, you know, would help Team Perkowitz uh, quite a bit. And just crashes on that top 12 stone, rolls over to the side of the of the forefoot, and I think does leave a, a potential double opportunity here for Team Shield. Big goal is to roll their shooter into the button to try to put some pressure on. Jordan Hine with, with a, a big opportunity here. Tessa Thurlow doing everything she can to hold this on the inside of the stone, but it will over curl a bit and roll away. Okay, same thing. And no hesitation by Julia Peckowitz. Calling the draw again, and we'll see okay. if Megan Sapera right, can take a few feet okay. off this, this shot. And really lob it right into the top four, top eight. What I've noticed is she's really decisive. <laughs> she, she knows what she wants to call. She puts the broom down quickly, and she's ready to go. Yeah, the, the first part of this game went quite quickly because the, it wasn't super complicated, but Julia has sort of kept that pace going, uh, even as it's gotten a bit more complex. And, and certainly been impressed with her, uh, her, her game from the skip position. And this stone comes up a, maybe a hair heavy, but is second shot. And now Team Shield will, will have an opportunity to, to Still get to that open button. And it's been, yeah, it's been a, a great week. We, we see a, a really good matchup over on the, uh, uh, over on the men's side too. And I um, appreciate you, you joining us, Brett. And, uh, and how are things going in the new role as chair of the board? Yeah, so I was elected, I think, November 1st of uh, last year, uh, obviously coming off of a lot of turmoil in the organization. And, uh, you know, we, we've spent a lot of time just trying to right the ship, do the very basic things right, like throwing on good events, uh, like we're having here at Broomstones, and uh, just making sure that everyone knows what's going on, communicating really well. Uh, and feel like they're they're there. part of the organization, and so uh, you know we, we have a lot grow. of different volunteer committees doing uh, really great work uh, to to kind of build uh, the future of USA Curling. Uh, so getting the membership involved and, and especially their opinions. You know, we just did a, a poll. Uh, the, the the governance committee did a survey. Two almost two thousand curlers. This isn't bad. Wow. Spent their time, told us what they th told the committee what they think, uh, and now the committee has that much information to to go on and on how to take the uh, what the direction of the organization needs to be. That's ten percent of our membership. That's incredible. Uh, and then the tribute to the passion that people have about our sport. Yeah, it, uh, certainly, despite a, a challenging year, the one thing that has never been a doubt is the passion of, of curlers in, in the U.S. And, uh, and certainly being able to, to leverage that and, and leverage the volunteer energy, I think, is a, is a great and, and keep keep everybody involved is a, is a great, great move to, uh, to to start trying to move things forward in a, in a positive way. So I appreciate that, that effort. Well, it's our organization. Right, right. This is a membership organization. It's our organization. We should be the ones who uh, determine its future. And we see the the Shield yeah, team on their draw attempt just crashing on the uh, on the top 12 stone. And Julia Pekowitz now with her chance to try to get to the button. Really is a race to the button in this end. First team there will uh, have a huge opportunity. Oh, lines good, lines good. And they sneak it right by. Is a hair heavy, but. Okay. Nestles into the forefoot to sit three. Still, the button is open, and, and we'll see Miranda Shield have a couple options here. Tessa, you like trying the same thing they did? It's either that or you pull. Sorry. I think I had to hold that. I never ate the drum. We just played it. I think in this situation, it's one of the things that what, what is the person throwing the rock feel most comfortable with? 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I totally agree. I, I think this is this is a comfort level thing. You've got a few different options. I'm gonna play this game uh, back for and it. key thing is is playing something you're comfortable with. Find a way to to get to that button. <laughs> Looks like they've settled on the draw. Even, Even with this shot, that should still be fine. as you just hear heard Miranda say, I'm, I'm, you I'm can yellow. use that yellow as a little bit of a, a wick potential to redirect your shooter into the button. So see a couple chance, a couple different ways you could make this shot, and a big opportunity here for Miranda to uh, set up a potential steal. See, back four, back eight, back eight. Tessa Thurlow says it's heavy out of hand. Can we hit the yellow in? Tessa Thurlow trying to get as much curl as she can. I'd be close to the wick. Just doesn't quite curl enough and will settle top eight. A little bit in the way and uh, Team Pekowitz is still sitting three with the hammer to come. So we'll see what Julia elects to do here. See if she can find a way to, to sneak a fourth stone into the forefoot. I think the port on the left is a little tight to try to squeeze in. Uh, I think you have to go a little hey. bit wider on this shot. You can't do exactly the same room as she did on her previous shot. And who knows if that path is going to act the same as the rock that uh, she just threw a few okay. moments ago. What was the last one? A huge opportunity for Team Packowitz. They've, they've got three in there trying to sneak a fourth one in to really change the landscape of this game. We're sitting three right now. Good line. So Julia Pekowitz here with the draw attempt, trying to get a piece it's of the really forefoot. Nice, hair off. Hear them say that it's a hair heavy out of hand. Got to make sure that you can get past Little the yellow. Uh, back four. You're back four. I think you're by the yellow. Now it's about the sweepers putting this on the T line. Yeah, it's a little kiss, but a perfect shot wow. there by Julia Pekowitz for four. And you can hear behind me the home crowd roar as they score four to take a three point lead. Seven to four, Pekowitz going into the eighth end. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. All right, and we're back after yes. what was a huge out. end for Team Pekowitz, putting four on the board to take a three-point lead three. in what's been a, a really a back-and-forth game, it's just hitting. trading singles and deuces. A four really breaks it open. Okay, well, and you can right. see what happens when you change okay. strategies, right? And when uh, you have a really defensive game switched to offense, it's, it's that team that can make the adjustments, that can, you know, make those draws happen uh, and it worked out for Pekowitz and you know a four is huge in the seventh end. Just a two-three. Gotta we'll stay here. The, the Pekowitz first first rock Where? will slide into the, the house and Tessa Thurlow trying to put up a corner guard but this one looks hot. 14-1. We want to give an update on uh, what's happening in sheet three in the men's game. Uh, in the end of the sixth end uh, Wenling scored one to go up five to three. Uh, 
Okay. So really tight match Let's there. Roll. Still, you, you know, okay. four ends to go and uh, really great shots being made on both teams. And that that A Bear team is is no stranger to playing aggressive. So well, only yeah. down two okay. with Hammer. Well, Certainly well. lots of opportunities for them yeah. to get back into the game. Well. They've as I've watched them in, in other games, they've yeah. done an incredibly good job of managing really the speed of the ice and here. Really and nice uh, have been able it, to, to generate offense. <laughs> so we should see a great finish there. Looks like good weight. And and our feature sheet, we see a, a clean nose hit nice by weight. Kaylee Price to uh, to sit to and suddenly put a little bit of pressure on uh, Team Shield to decide what they want to do in this end. Nice way, Just sit to, where? Where? They'll call that corner guard and, and stay on the offensive, which I think given the score, given the late time in this game, that, that's really what they have to do. Over yep. off. Well, I think Team Pekowitz, because uh, they fine. had so many hits during the first half of the game. They're going to be confident about where to put the broom, uh, what weights to throw That's in feasible. order to take anything out. Uh, I think they're going to obviously try to play really defensively now and, uh, you know, protect the lead that they have. And we saw in the first half of this game, they were plenty comfortable playing hits. So I, I don't think they'll shy away from that strategy. And, and the, the goal here will be to where? try to limit the scoring where? of Team Shield. Yep, yep. Always hold. Go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hard line. Oh. With the five rock rule, Addison Neal cannot hard take out that line. yellow corner guard. Hard so we'll line. see it come around. Hard. Go, 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 go. Hard, 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 hard. hard. Okay. You're just a little down. Way was actually pretty. Way was pretty close. Just a hair tight. We'll take that Sorry. top 12 stone. Just to over curl yep. the hair. Gets another stone in play, though. And Miranda Shield will, uh, as she. I did with that corner guard, ignore all the reds in the house and try to hide one on the wing. Just stop it. Gotta curl. Do we need backing? One looks okay, a we're bit taking, heavy yep. again. Whoa. Whoa, we're off it. May get back to that stone curl. in the back, back eight foot. It's going to chop seven. off just a little bit. Do you have all of it? And you, you hear the 14-7 call. That, that's that's a uh, hog to hog time, and the speed okay. is still uh, quite good. Sorry, I'm just not feeling my kick. I'm not feeling my kick. And Addison Neal with her second will go after this open yellow, and we'll see her uh, throw a, an out, inside out takeout oh. at it. Kaylee Price doing oh, what she can to get this to yes, curl oh, over. Oh, and she's going to get it. Good. I mean, she's going to nose it. Great Sitting right there. on the tee line, okay. just just you like maybe back it? tee. Yep. I think you're probably going to be peeling. Do you have all? If you can see it, I felt like you might as well get rid of it, right? 10 5. Suddenly a pretty cr house, oh, crowded house with a lot That's of reds bad. in there. You know, there are a couple options here, right? Yes. They could take it out no. uh, and no. you know, try to, you know, keep the scoring area expanded. Oh, 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 they could oh. also try to tap it back, no. uh, you know, with yep. with three other red rocks in play. It's whoa, unlikely whoa, that whoa. there's going to be a blank this end uh, and trying to okay, use it feel. to their advantage, uh, especially when so. they really need to generate some offense. Yeah, could have been a, a good choice, too. And they will get a roll, yeah, not again. fully buried, but Team Pekowitz will like to throw the peel on the on the long guard here. There, if they chase that stone in the in the house, there is a jam risk, and I think they're with the lead. They're choosing the the least the the less risky shot here and just playing the peel. So Megan Stepera will block on here and try to remove yeah, the guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just clean. Good. Good job, Megan. And this, this Pekowitz team plays in our, our competitive like room zones, and I, I think really seeing them like uh, take advantage of, of a good lot of good like games control. together. Uh, they're, they're all, uh, really most of, <laughs> of all of them are, are here at Brimstones and, and able to play a lot together. And I, I think you really see that comfort level with, uh, with each other and, and they're able to, to play, play their game even under the, the bright nice lights night. here. Nice. I, I can see 
peeling corner guards is, is really not an easy thing to do consistently. Uh, and the, the ease at which they, they did that uh, is really impressive. I mean, I know a lot of club curlers that couldn't do it that consistently. 11-1. So we see a really nice hit and roll by Jordan Hine. Gets under that top 12 redstone. This yellow is still available, and Julia Packerwitz will call for an, an open takeout from Megat Stapera. Trying to get a piece of this with the curl. Oh, Addison Neal sweeping as hard as she can. Nah, that's okay. Okay. And just wick it and tap okay, it into the forefoot. Unfortunate miss there, okay. and we'll see okay. what uh, Miranda what? Shield is able to do. Okay, that's okay. I like that. Just a little wide and a little up. Yep. That's okay. We always have the short run. And I think they are electing to draw open side. Mm -hmm. Just try to maintain the, the separation between these stones. Always there's, there's a, Always a few more shots left for Team Packowitz to remove yellows. Lions so this really is a, an effort to try to keep Lions separation really and, and make it yep. so that there are yep. as few doubles as Just possible for, for the Packowitz team. team. Yep. Hard, Tess. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. How Great sweep it? by Tessa Thurlow. Gets that to the okay. top uh, top T line. Yep. Just control but him, Pekowitz you. will go for the stone in the forefoot here on her first skips rock. Wait, control. Well, they could have chose to guard uh, or put something in front of that rock in the forefoot. I like the aggressive. It's just putting more rocks in play, putting pressure in the opponents. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I like the thought process there. And a couple options here for, for Team Pekowitz. They're deciding to hit the hit that number one counter. Make sure that they remove one of these yellows. And maybe can roll a, a hair under. I'm not sure if, if they quite can get that much curl here. Early curl sweep call. Trying to get to nose if they can. And they'll get the takeout roll a little bit, but they are still shot. Miranda Shield will have to chase this rock. Just got a open hit chance to sit three. I think if she noses, there's not much of a chance for a double anywhere. I like nose. I like nose here. If there's any ball, it yeah, the rocks are going to be pretty spread out. I think Pekowitz would, would just play defensive, hit something that's open, uh, and, and prevent uh, a big end back. But it does look like there's going to be a crooked number uh, after the end of this. Shots away from Miranda Shield. 9-5 call there on the wait. 9-5! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you get on and it will just oh, nose roll maybe an inch, but we'll we'll stick around on the huh? side of the forefoot. And we'll see Julia Pekowitz line up a hit and roll. This is the one out they have. If she's able to get this roll to the button to the button behind that pile, there's a ch there's a chance to to put some pressure on Miranda Shield and maybe limit the damage. Whoa. I think a little less weight, yeah? I think there's a jam possibility here too, and depending on how you know, if she doesn't get the perfect roll, there might be an opportunity for uh, for a big number. That's so, it. Yeah. yeah. Good. That's a good observation. I kind of uh, forgot about that stone in the in the uh, back 12 foot. So certainly they'll have to watch out for that. Control. Yep. Lots away for Julia. And to get the roll under the pile. Roll, 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 roll. Ah, okay. Does jam, but but doesn't stick Goodness. around. So slightly off works. No Control. damage from the Control. jam, and we'll leave a, an open hit now yeah. for Miranda Shield to get her three right back. Yeah. 
tie the game. So as the shot's coming down, I just wanted to, to thank uh, the Broomstones Club for hosting Junior Nationals. Uh, the, the ice crew, the volunteers, uh, the timers, the officials all week have been fantastic. Uh, the, the competitors, the coaches that I've talked to, uh, the families of the, the competitors have all had nothing but great things to say about the, the hospitality they've received this week. So just a huge thank you to Broomstones and, and all of the folks that made this happen. Whoa! And I, I know the group does his kind of love putting the girl. on and getting a chance to, to show off uh, well, uh, what we have here. And see this stone settle in for a score of three for Miranda Shield. Well, Brett, thank you so much for joining me. This is, It's been great to chat for a bit. And uh, it looks like we're in for a very exciting finish and now a tie game 7-7 seven to seven after eight All ends. Right. All right, it's mine. It's Thanks a lot. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Well, we're back here for the ninth end, and just wanted to thank uh, Brett Jackson again for joining us. And Sean Franey is back up in the booth here, and uh, looking forward to an exciting finish. I was crowding the paint, trying to see what was happening in that last end. It's getting really interesting at this point. And yeah, you you were pulled away for uh, quite a pair of two ends, a four and a three, traded back and forth. Went went from a close game, a close low scoring game, to a close high scoring game in a matter of two ends. I don't want to touch it. Over on uh, sheet down. three, there's a, a tricky house developing Coming for Team A Bear. They're uh, trying to figure out what to do on Caden's last shot, facing three, all three in the forefoot. Curl, well, just do it here. Curl a little, curl a little. In the women's Good. final, like you said, there were more points scored in those last two ends than yeah. the first six. So if it's any indication of what the future looks like, we get another center guard coming up and another draw round. Good shot. These ladies are feeling it, and it's it's go time at this point. Yeah, an amazing story of two halves. First Cross half, line. both teams were happy to just hit it, hit away Line's and uh, burn some yep. ends, and suddenly we, we yep. found ourselves in a five-end game, and yep. both Hard. teams put put their foot on the gas, and it's been exciting. So we'll see a draw attempt here. Yep. Jordan Hyde trying to all drag this on all the way to the threes. Yes! yes. Okay, sorry. I got over there. Here. 15-5. choosing to run in the Wendling Rock as opposed to his own on the angle slash. Trying to get as many of these reds moving as he can. He did. Really good sweep. He will lose one of the three, but it looks like he will leave Team Wendling with Wait, a steal of two in the seventh end. Line. That should put Down. them up seven to three going into the eighth. Tough end, end there for Team Bear and a really strong end from Team Wendling. Just kept the pressure on early, piled zones all around the button and left Caden with no, you don't have to a no, very, no. very hard shot with really here. no chance to score, leave just it, a chance to leave limit leave the it. damage. Yeah, Team Team Wendling committed from the beginning of that end that they were playing in the middle. Um, center guard went up, draw around, and they just everything was right to the middle, and they never gave up on that. And we'll we'll see uh, Tessa Thurlow take a aim from the other side of the the sheet here, trying to pile another stone into the forefoot. Justy. Tessa had a perfect freeze on her Looks second. Like a lot. 
Where? And the follow-up draw. Where? Okay. From Team Post Pekowitz street. came up just a hair Post short, sitting yep. in the top yep. 12. Yep. Hard, sir. Hard. Hard. Keep going. Hard. Keep going all the way. Hard. Hard. Jordan Hyde hey, area, able to carry that to the eight foot. In the way. And I think certainly what we're going to see here is some points scored. One of the options, if you're the team with Hammer in the ninth in a tie game, is thinking about a blank. But I, I think that that is pretty much out of the question now. And we're going to see uh, Team Pekowitz try to score a couple here. Yeah. You could hear the uh, the urgency and the sweep call there from Team Shield. It's You can tell this is a tense game in the last two ends. Uh, and you can feel it out there on the ice for sure. And both these two teams have, have had nice. an incredible week and really now now that final Mama. two ends that with sort of the, the their goals on the line here and you can see that they're they're really uh, uh turning up the execution as well little bump there from addison neal does settle in to be second shot but leaves a little space for team shield if they can pre precisely land one what was my time? Yeah, I don't know that Team Shield is going to be able to get a shot, shot rock on this one, but they could certainly kind of freeze onto that back one, one and and prevent uh, Team Pekowitz from getting anything oh, one, more two. than one here. It's okay. Okay. I think that's their goal, right? Get a get a force oh, here would good. be great. Get a steal is, is good, too. Line's good. Full straight. Line's good. You did hear Miranda say the miss is a little bit heavy here. Um, I think if you're, you can make the argument Fine, without hammer really or with, yeah, without Come hammer that the miss is a little there. bit light, got but. A curl. Still got a curl. Once you can. Jordan Hine is maybe a oh, hair that's heavy. That's really heavy. Whoa. Back on that 14 one. 14-4. Okay. Hmm? Little less. Right. We'll roll yes. away and, and just, okay. just needed to have that one Four. a few feet lighter. Right, yeah. Pro side light. light. Didn't have a chance to catch the curl and. You see, as soon as that rock comes to a stop, Julia Pekowitz is in the house. She's pounding a broom. She can feel it at this point. She knows what she wants, um, and she knows that her team is close. I like it. We'll, uh, we'll see Addison Neal, who just threw the draw that ended up right behind the T-line, try again to see if she can take a, a foot or two off. But this looks maybe heavy, maybe not. It's wide. Yeah. Little sweeper's trying to carve it in. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. All right, that's fine. That's not bad. Ends up in the top four foot. I, I think it does leave like some that. double opportunities for Team Shield. Okay. okay. I like that. Yeah, Miranda's definitely got Is some options here for her team. What was the time? Put up the broom for the firm okay. weight hit. I just don't know why the, you guys should sweep I think it's, I thought I was. Okay, that's fine. Gordon Hine now with the double there. attempt. Oh. Yup! Yup! Yes! Yup! Whoa! Panon, she must be close. Don't want a straight stuff. Oh. But it just hangs straight and okay. sneaks right by. The way they were calling sweep on hey, that, hey. I... I I thought they must have had a, a good piece of it, but Mar Miranda thought it was, I think, curling, and Jordan yeah, clearly like felt like it wasn't. And it, uh, by evidence of how it reacted, I think Jordan must have been right on that one. But maybe there was something in the release that Jordan felt that Miranda didn't see. So 415, 415, I say. And after that miss, Megan Sapera will try for a little bit of a tap, trying to bump this this top four stone into sit three. If you ever are able to get just a hair inside of nose on it when you tap it, it's absolutely Wait, perfect. It's really nice. So. Sweepers like the weight out of her hand. Line, line. Straight, straight, yes. Straight, 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 straight. Oh. Really, you really Got to carry it there. Great shot there from Megan Stepera. Taps it to the button. And all of a sudden, Pekowitz is sitting three. Like, heel and blast. 
Okay. Sean silently corrects me that uh, <laughs> it is actually only two. Uh, so sitting two, but it's a big two here in in a tie game. Yeah. They didn't get quite as low, I think, on that rock as they would have liked watch. ideally, but it still puts it in a really good spot. Okay. Shields looking can here. She can throw. Center, she can kind of run the shooter that she just threw Not really. into the crotch oh, okay. and get rid of the two shot rocks, but it will leave the runner there sitting shot. Okay. I like that. You still like firm? I, I think that's the call. She she sort of has to play now. There's not not really anything else that looks too tempting. Yeah, the only the only other option at this point is to kind of bail on some of those center guards and hope that you give yourself a chance to loosen it up. They do have that one on the left side of the top forefoot. That's a great position, but everything on the right side is favoring Team Pekowitz right now. Even if she makes this, she'll leave uh, Team Pekowitz with the same draw that they've thrown the last three times in a row. Um, for a chance to sit too. And this is uh, Jordan Hines' final rock, so we are getting late in this end. Yeah. Big shot here for Jordan Hines, trying to Close. remove a couple reds. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard time. Tessa on it Hard. early, trying to get it by. Hard, gotta go. Hard. Sneaks okay. by, but. Because it was on the inside of nose there, it just papered the red and moved it a little bit, but didn't change the uh, didn't change who's counting. And Pekowitz is still sitting two. That's that's definitely not an ideal result for them. But where that roll to is not absolutely terrible. It's going to give Miranda something to work with on that left side. That's a little more low risk than what she had before. We'll see Megan Stapera with another draw, maybe a top house draw on this this right side of the sheet. Gonna make sure that it's by the yellow. See if they can sneak it by the yellow and they do, and where will this land? Third shot. That's the best draw they've made this end. Great shot by Megan Stapera. Maybe carried a bit more than they, they yellow, yellow, the call, red. but I think the outcome is about yellow, as good yellow, as you red. can make it there. Yeah, it's like. And suddenly, huge off. pressure on Miranda Shield, staring at three in this ninth end. Okay, I don't mind She's she's it. looking at the guards now. She's got to run something, and it. it's really her only shot. And the only question is, does she does she go I to the left or go to the right me. to get the best result? Alex. Yeah, I think I think you're right here that she certainly has to to move a couple of these guards, try to get access to either that angle of the yellows, or a piece of the red, and maybe even make some noise in the forefoot on this shot if she can. I think that's what they're lining up, trying to get yellow, yellow, into the forefoot, and move some stones around. I she's she's looking yellow, yellow like you talked about. I don't know that the angles are great on this one. My preference might be if you could go ever go yellow red to catch a piece of those yellows that you've got in the forefoot, you have the potential to lose all three of the reds that are in the forefoot. That said, even if she's even Close. if she misses yep. this, at Whoa. least she opens it up and potentially has that shot next. Yep. Got Whoa. away from Miranda Shield. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Gets everything moving in front okay. of the house and does get one of those yellows into the into the forefoot, but I don't think changes the situation on the button. Red is still sitting three. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely didn't hurt them on the angles, but it didn't help them, I think, as much as they would have liked. It's, yeah. With fewer stones in front of the house, there's a couple more options now, and we'll uh, we'll see Team Pekowitz call a timeout, and Keith Dropkin will will head out to to talk with the team about what they want to do here. Are we one, two, three? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think like, They're looking at how, I mean, yeah, how best yeah, they like, can cap this off. We'll listen, listen to the teams now. <laughs> I was like, and I was like, Coach Keith needs to come out and help me. I don't think there's a way for them to get rid of 
more than one. I gotta go up here. They can get rid of this one. This one. But, well, but they won't sit, I don't think. No, they won't. We'll be sitting two. One, two. I, I think you gotta go here to block this. Mm, no, because this is their shot. I think we gotta go like here. Yeah, but even if that's their shot, we're still two. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, Coach I Keith, know. what are your thoughts on right here? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, if they do this, two. If they do this, though, that's okay. There's a possibility. Okay. Right side light, like here. Okay. Okay. I think you gotta be pro side light, like go here. Yeah. Just call for here. I think we called timeout. <laughs> and a good discussion there by the team, looking at, a, at what different out. options what Miranda Shield has on her last, and they <laughs> decide say? to guard <laughs> against the, we the yeah. run, or the little tap run on the stone uh, in the, like on the like center line, like a, like and they'll try to get get in the way of that shot little, and, and leave her an option wait, on the other less, side. Like, wait, what, so wait. Yeah, because of the crotch okay. that the, the red rocks make, there's a nice pocket there kind of surrounding the back button. Megan, I think it's and, touch uh, less. If Miranda, Miranda's best shot at getting yeah. out of this end is tapping that yellow into the pocket, that left side that they were looking at originally with the two yellows Less. on that side, okay. it never Let's leaves go. them sitting shot. This Deep one could. Four, See, ten, this four, is five. the one they have yep. to protect against. Okay. So we'll see a sort of a, a guard attempt here from Julia Pakowitz trying to limit the options for Miranda Shield on her last. Whoa. Wait, it's really nice. Shots away, aiming for oh. about a three guard, close We're guard. Sweepers like the weight out of her hand. No, a little up. Well, I don't want to touch it. Line looks really so nice. Might be curling a bit. Curl? They could ever split Line's the guard nice. a little bit and get in front of both, but they've got to get a roll here. That's good. That's good. Takes away the run, blocks. You can't see that. Okay. So Miranda will still have the tap, but she'll have to play less That's weight than I think she wanted to. And so the chances of her getting, you know, however many reds yellow. she can out count, it's minimized here. And she did also take away the run back. So there, there isn't an option with the the guard to, to use that to run the the yellow into the yellow on the center line in the forefoot. I you like trying to double playing this. I don't think this gets us anywhere. Okay. I don't think it gets us anywhere. You see Miranda looking at the double on the reds on the back. That would leave Pekowitz sitting <laughs> shot and would and also hat, leave her like, with a draw for war. two, but it would I don't think at it least can. remove I don't think two of the stones. You have okay, this is the only this option. Rock. This is the only option then. This is the only option. You like control? Control? To try and get this six off? I think it's our normal. You have 70! I like normal. Okay. And they walked through a couple options there and, and settled on, and just as you said, hitting this red. I think you can get the double, and then uh, Team Packwitz has to can. make a yep. tough draw for there, too. So this is a, a good opportunity to try to limit the possible damage. You're, you're never going to stop Packwitz from scoring, but if you can make it tough for them to get two, that's a, a good outcome here. With, with how the back end of this uh, end shaped up, if Team Shield is able to get away with a force of one, it will be probably the greatest victory they've had this tournament. Double attempt here from Miranda Shield. Yes! Needs to hit a little bit on the outside of nose of this yep. redstone. Hard! Hard! Whoa! Yep! Whoa! On and off yes. by Tessa Thurlow. And it will get rid of uh, one, but a hard. I think maybe three. Uh, maybe just two. It's okay. Just two. Just need to curl a little bit more. Right here. We can't move this at all. I think they're sitting two still. We're definitely two. Right? Do we curl as enough? 
I mean, if you do it... And this it is the same draw it. she threw in seven for her fourth point. If she's able to draw in with just the right weight, it's for three. Well, Even if she good. comes down and taps the second because, shot, she still um, gets two. Our red, one of our reds is like it does have to be right careful because she, if she's ever on the outside of nose, you can suddenly be be in a situation where you're only getting once. This is a very precise draw. Huge opportunity, though, for Julia Peglert. Agreed. Yeah. The miss here exactly. is always light. Got it. Um, four. Kate. Okay. Four up. On it. If and if this one checks up at the top twelve, it's it's by no means a, okay. a mistake okay. for Team Packolets. It would be the four. Third shot. Here we go, Julia Pekowitz with a draw for three in the ninth end of a tie game in the national final. Yeah, gotta go! Hide! Not heavy out of her hand. Sweepers have got to work on it a little bit. I don't want to waste. Uh, okay. Sorry. But I think just light and we'll, we'll just die as a guard or maybe bite the house, but doesn't matter. We may see a measurement. Do you want to check the third one, Megan? It's at least one. Yeah. I think they agree on two, so a huge score of two for Team Pekowitz in a really crowded four foot there. And we'll see the 10th yeah. end coming with Shiel having hammer, but down two. Score is nine to seven Pekowitz. I like it. <laughs> yep. We need to have uh -huh. rock top house. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. All right, we're back here for the final end of the Women's Junior National Championships. Back eight. With the score is nine to seven, Pekowitz over okay, Shiel. Shiel has hammer. It is through. Yeah. Call on this bad. first okay. stone is to draw the forefoot, okay, but I think you have plenty of time. just heavy yeah, eight minutes, nine minutes. and we'll, we'll carry all the way through. And guys. this is what it all comes down to, Sean. Oh, this is this is great. You heard uh, Julia there tell her team, "Hey, we've got over eight minutes. Let's take a deep breath. We've got plenty of time. Make sure we make our shots." But there, I that's not a that's not a miss in my book. It's always okay to be through in that situation. Always straight. We'll see. She'll call the corner guard. Always straight. Trying to generate some some offense here. With the five rock One. rule, there's certainly That's ways fine. that That's you fine. can generate Seven a three nine. here. So okay. by no means is this game over. Absolutely. Quick update on sheet three. Team Hebert was able to navigate some early draws to the forefoot by Wes Wendling's team to still get a deuce with Hammer in the eighth. So as they move to the ninth, Team Wendling leans Team Hebert yeah. seven to five with Hammer in the ninth. Four. It's pretty much two. All right, so another here, attempt guys. here from Kaylee Price, Hard. trying to get to the top four. Gotta be top four, yeah! Yes! Hard way! Sleepers you think it's a go. bit light, so they're trying to carry it as far as they can. Hard! All the way! You gotta be in! Hard! No, it's not. It's a 16. And they do get it on. Okay. You can see the the energy from that from the Pekowitz team there. Uh, they can definitely feel feel the win within their grasp and, and really trying to finish this one out. Right. You can also there's a there's a level of of exhaustion that's setting in at this Mine's point. A tight. After Always having straight. played a tough game Always earlier straight. and having this game now. Close line. Um, so it's Where? it's a little mixed emotions that I'm sure is gonna be a battle for the Gotta next five minutes. Then. Close curl. 
Close curl. Top four. Close curl. Top four. Okay. Oh, that works. Beautiful draw from five. Tessa Thurlow. What? Well judged by Jordan you Hine. Have any or no? Right no, behind why? that corner guard, completely buried, and with the five rock rule, they won't have a chance to move the guard. And Julia Pekowitz calls for a draw to the forefoot. Way to bury that one. I mean, they kind of did it on its own, but. Addison Neal throwing her first here, just trying to put it top four. Put some stones in the forefoot that have to be removed by Team Shield. Sleepers think this is a hair heavy, Wait, it hoping it close. grinds yeah. in to the uh, top four. Okay. Kaylee Price doing a little dance, right. hoping it stops. Megan, or, uh, tell Addison to get ready to heal. heal. Settle down, back eight. It is shot, but yeah. a little bit deeper than they might have hoped, and yep. no reason for Miranda to worry about that stone right now, and we'll try to hide another one behind the corner. Right. I'm a little surprised they, they only threw one corner here, but they're making the most of it. Got a curl. I really think they're, got a curl they're here. comfortable that as long as they got can get the curl. two, they'll have a chance to steal. I, I don't think they feel okay. the need to score Still three, but if they get the easy three, they're happy really to take it. Really got a curl. Only if you can. Running. Curl only if you can. Curl. 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 trying to carve this over. Curl. 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 And actually over curls maybe a sliver, but it's it's Heel. in a great spot. Sitting Heel two it. now or sitting time. second and third, both behind that corner guard. And yeah. Pakowitz is forced to throw the peel and suddenly there is uh, maybe a three in play. Pakowitz will have a double on those back stones, but there's definitely chances here for Team Shield. Nice clean peel on that center corner good work, guard. Good work. Now Miranda has to make the decision: does she put that back up, or does she start playing to the middle? Huh? So with Jordan Hines first, the call is for a corner guard. Protect that that two stone pile you have there over on the wing. And I think that, given given that we're still pretty early in the end, I like this call. Yeah. Keeps the three in play. I agree. I think mm -hmm. knowing that you're second and third and that that other one is so far back house, you're not really worried about it. If you can protect these two till the bitter end, you can, you'll be able to chase that one in the back eight for a chance to win. Okay, got a curl. Got a curl. Got a curl. Tessa thinks it's a hair really heavy, got a curl but here. the key hard thing is it's got to be in front of hard the other curl. two yellows. Hard curl, Tess. Hard curl. Trying to get as really much curl out. as she can on this whoa, rock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're in always. Coming in's fine oh, as long as you get a piece of coverage there. And it looks like she does. Uh, uh, of this one? I think there is a, yeah, no, a couple doubles and maybe I even a know. triple opportunity here. Yeah, Triple's got to be um, yeah. a little bit of a missile like though. And I think they're just going to try for the, the double on the top two uh, yellows. Firm. Yeah. Firm Meg weight coming from Megan Stepera. Megan can definitely throw the weight for this here, so oh, if she's oh. able to hit it at the right spot, it'll get the rocks moving. A little outward motion Crazy. on the release, though. Ah. Yeah, okay. Roll that way. Got to watch out roll for the, the back way, stone now. All right. And okay. will All right. catch on the stone in the back eight. Okay. And suddenly yellow right is sitting under. two with that stone no that? longer uh, in Never the back eight. Split. You like here and then time? It's okay. I think I like under first. I like that. Okay, just see. I mean, we call it time. But Change I like of gears that. here for Team Shield. They're they're electing to go to the open side. They will leave a double open for Team Pekowitz on the wing. Line's pretty good. Always straight. Just see. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Okay. Gotta sit here. Gotta make it. Yeah. Gotta sit. 
Nessa really thinks gliding. this is a little warm as it's really coming down. Really gliding. Whoa, just he. Really coming down. I think it's still all there. 14.4. Got to sit. 14.6. It's like back Gotta four. Got to sit here. It's like back four. Got to sit here. Back four. That works, Joe. It will That's settle good. down in the side of the eight foot there. Right here. Julia Pakowitz, no hesitation, will go after you these two and out. try for a double. Yellow is control. sitting three yeah. now all of a sudden. I want your seven. Do you want my seven? Okay. It's been running really nice. Okay. Whoa. Normal. And, and we see. Great. Great. Double attempt great. here for Megan Sakara. Oh, great. 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 Go, go, go. And Good perfectly man. executed. Great shot by Megan Sapera. Okay. The, the hometown Alexander. crowd is Alexander. getting Alexander. loud okay. in this building. Getting warm. The, uh, the shot is open and exposed here. for Miranda to do a hit and roll to the wing to maintain her chance That's at a so deuce, noisy. but I got that is a huge boost that was a great for shot, Megan. Team Pekowitz really at this nice. point in the gen. Great shot there really by really Megan good. Sapera. Oh, Set. Close. Yep. Yep. Oh. Trying to get a little roll on this if they can. But really yeah. have to stick. Hard, Megan. And this will roll all the way Megan. out. And now a, an open hit for Control. Team Pekowitz to, to suddenly leave yep. Miranda Shield with only two stones remaining. Just don't, don't tell her That's, uh, that was definitely another moment. And on yeah. that same I side where time, okay? Jordan's throwing yeah. it and thinking it's a little bit out, Miranda seeing it as it's curling, and just the disagreement okay. causes a a miss in that sense with the rollout. And and suddenly yes. now Julia Pekowitz has a, a chance to to with an open hit to guarantee worst case an extra end. I'm thinking just good. Yeah. Taking an extra second to to settle in the hack. And here is Julia Pekowitz's first here in the tenth end. a little more weight than I think we've seen her thrown today. Curling early, but it does look like they've got the stone and will just nose right on, removes the yellow. Great shot by Julia Pekowitz. And now Miranda Shield has to find somewhere to hide and all she's got is that top 12 stone. Yeah, you're either you're either freezing to the wing or you're drawing around the center. Um, okay. I think yeah. the draw around the center is easier. You have a much wider margin in terms of the weight as long as mm -hmm. the line is good. I don't mind here if you'd rather play this. We also have a time, but I don't care. Might as well call it. Okay. We'll see Miranda Shield call a timeout, and Coach Christine McMagan will, well, will head out to there. chat. Really only two options, here, either that freeze or the like come around the, set, the top 12 stone. I tend to, to agree with you that coming around that top that top 12 stone is the way to go. There's a bit do. more margin for she error. Has, the freeze to has to be pretty then perfect. Yeah. If you're, even if you're back four, back eight on that draw, it forces Julia Pekowitz to do something with it. And let's uh, listen in to hear what they say. If we're even back four, that's okay. Very quick visit from Coach Christy McMakin, so like and the uh, uh, the call yeah. will be a draw uh, around the oh top my. 12 stone. My tongue Big shot here for Miranda Shield. If she can bury this, it will nice. put some pressure on Julia Pekowitz. Oh, and you heard her say, me. even if it's back four, that's okay. Um, you know, it, it, it allows Julia the out, but then it forces her in this decision. Do I draw and and risk, you know, leaving an, a, a hit for two, or do I throw the run? And it, at that point, it makes it a little bit harder. Draw here for Miranda Shield, trying to find somewhere to hide under this top 12 redstone and preserve the chance in this final. Top eight, top 12, top eight, top eight. Top eight, top four. It's good. Now they just have to get the Finally. curl right. Got a curl. 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 Always curling. 
Tessa Thurlow oh, trying to going. bury it as much as she can. Will get a, about a half bury, maybe half. two thirds. Half. Half. Thick half from the right half where Julia angle. will be throwing. Yeah, the run's the better shot. You can only see a sliver. Okay. It's just right here. Nose is fine too. If you hit nose. How do you feel about this call? I personally like the run only because you can't lose the game here, but you can win the game here. I also wouldn't mind if she decided to throw the draw, knowing that you could also win it with that. I, I don't think I'd ever call the draw. I think for me, it's a decision between a run and a and maybe a downweight pick on that stone in the back four. Do you like that or do you like the draw? But it's about comfort level, depending on what what is a skip she likes to throw. Yeah. And it's possible we'll see her as she goes down to the hack, take a look at how much she can see. Yeah. Do you like drawing? Just draw to it. Sure. I don't mind that, yeah. I don't mind that at all. If she's confident in it. I don't know. If you're confident in the draw, go for it. What? Do you like the draw or do you like the hit? I don't know. I think, I think you will hit. Where is that, where is that yellow rock sitting? All right, I think it's draw. Okay. Okay. She's got it. Good discussion there from, from Team Pekowitz, and it seems like Julia was comfortable with the draw, and and uh, right that's straight. what they're settling on. Okay. This stone is a okay, hair behind the, the T-line, so if yeah, she's yeah. able to get right on the nose, she can yeah. seal this game. You can even tap this a hair, and it, as it, it gives you a little more margin. Um, I think if the run were yeah. shorter, she'd throw the run, but because this, it's a six or seven foot run, it makes it a little more difficult. 90. So Julia Pekowitz here with her last rock in the 10th end, trying to freeze to the Yellowstone. Weight's really nice. Looks a little heavy. As long as the line's good. Coming way down. Whoa. Now they're trying to carve it over to get some of that yellow. Oh, she's way up. This is close to the back line. And it will just float by that yellow stone, and Miranda Shield just gets to throw this same shot she threw on her first. Draw for two to force an extra end. Sorry. Lots of lots of space for this draw, but you can. But the pressure uh, is is probably the biggest battle here. I like a thirty-five then. Yep. Miranda Shield, last rock of the tenth end with a draw to tie. Same rock she just threw on her last. Tessa Thurlow is working as hard as she can on this rock. It's a 15. It looks like they will guide it right into the forefoot for their two. Tying up the game and forcing an extra end in the final for the national title. What a game, Sean. And this we will is what it should be. We will see you in a minute for the extra end.
All right, we're back here for the extra end between Team Pekowitz and Team Shield with the national title on the line. Team Pekowitz will have the hammer, trying to get one point to win the game for either team. Quick update on sheet three for the men's championship. In the ninth end, Team Hebert was able to force Team Wendling to one. So Team Hebert will have the hammer, but they're down three. Score currently eight to five in favor of Team Wendling. Uh, after a few rocks in play, it looks like uh, Team Wendling has three in the house, all on the center line. Team Hebert has two corner guards, so we'll keep you posted on the progress there, but they look ready to go. Gotta move a bit. We see a nice guard put yeah, up yeah, by yeah. Tessa Thurlow, Whoa. and with no tick as an option, okay. we'll oh, we'll see no, a no, no. call for Kaylee Price trying to go to the top four. The stone will slide a bit deep to the back eight foot, back four what? foot. I know, you like the three or you like to it? I like the three. I don't terribly mind that, and I guess the primary reason is you heard Miranda there say, do you like the three or do you like two it? And it kind of, it almost baited her it into coming in and freezing fine, on that, which is exactly what I Just think three. Team Pekowitz would like. If they can Gotta minimize curl. the number Gotta of guards, curl. it's in their favor. Three. But Miranda didn't take the bait. The team ended up deciding Six, on the three. Four. We going to it? We need to I think it. they're a bit heavy, and so they, they may well, inadvertently we end up yeah. towards that red yeah. stone. And now changing is, gears, oh, trying for the freeze. It is hanging out there a bit, but it does have the weight to get oh, there. Oh, wait, Welded right on, looking it's a little bit like mixed right. doubles right yeah. now. If Kaylee's able to make the same draw she just That's made, it'll be really nice. Second stone here for Kaylee Price. Yep. Down. Sweeper's on it early. It looks like it might be a bit lighter than her first. Oh! This one's definitely oh, going to come down faster guys. than the others. They also Hi. need to carry it, but also Hi. make it curl. Great end-to-end -end sweep by oh. Megan Stapera right and Addison Neal. Yep. You're able to get it to the eight two. foot. Yep. Yellow is still shot, but that, that stone is usable for Team Pekowitz. Absolutely. Much rather have that than something that chops off and is too heavy. Absolutely. Just a two. So Tessa Holy Thurlow straight. now will throw a guard really on top of that red here. stone. Really overcurling over and off. This will leave the out turn for Team Pekowitz should they choose to use okay. it or the opportunity to open it up now that it's the sixth rock at the end. Just hooks under that yellow stone and okay. leaves a double chance for Team Pekowitz. It's Here's not that. a simple double the way those huh? state ended up stopping. Yeah, I know. I think if you're right here, this goes into this one, they all go, yeah? The striking bands on these stones are pretty lively, so I think as long as she's able to make contact, they'll, they'll, they'll see some action on there. So Addison Real Neal with the double peel Whoa. attempt. Just slides by the yellow, but they, the shooter does roll away, gets rid of one of them. That's still a pretty pretty good result there for Team Pekowitz. One fewer guard to deal with. What'd she, yep. what'd she say? Just this side of center. Yep. I didn't hear what she faster, said. faster. Okay. Kit. Two is okay. Okay. And a, a guard attempt here now for Team Shield. I thought you said throw it. They're sitting one, and they do have control of the center line right now. Two. Always three. Two. Really overcurling again. It's an update on sheet Two. three. Uh, team three, Wendling four. has cleared out the three, corner guards eight. for Team four, Hebert five. and is sitting one, two. Four. But Team Just Hebert is sitting Gotta third save. and fourth shot in the house at this moment. Really so up. the end is still alive. Two it? Yeah. Whoa. Sit down. Gotta sit First here. rock from Jordan Hine coming okay. down. That's better. Locks in as a guard Heels with a, a slight better. stagger. 
a little bit. I don't think there's a chance for, for a double peel without hitting that yellow kind of into the pile. Although we'll see. The, the, shoot, the other problem is the shooter probably doesn't roll much, but we'll see an attempt here from Madison Neal. I think if she just gets the one here, it's good enough. Uh, and she will move a ton of stones and actually unlock that stone in the, okay. the forefoot. That's a great result, actually. She managed to touch every rock except for that far corner and got everything moving. That was not good. That was not good. Yeah, not not exactly what they were hoping for, but I think it, it does quite a bit of good for them as, as they're able to unlock that backstone. And now there's there's a little bit less junk in the, in the front of the house. Yeah. Just a three, split center. It forces Team Shield to need a guard at this point because if this rock ever slips in and leaves a double, it's it's exactly what Team Pekowitz is looking for. This is a, a good guard by Jordan Hyde. The the trouble here for for Team Shield is they're just guarding a stone that's in the back of the the back of the forefoot. So. For now, there is still a draw remaining for Julia Pekowitz on her her skip stones, but they'll still focus on peeling here on Megan Stapera's first. Yep. Yeah. Hard. As long as they're able to clear out these guards every time, they will have a shot on their last. Whoa. All right. Uh, it's fine. Ooh. Just whistles by through the house, but does Save peel me. the center guard, and the shooter rolls out of the way, so Miranda Shield will try to replace the guard. Just a two. Not quite as much roll on the shooter as I think they would have liked there. That hit it a little bit thicker than they were expecting, as you noted. Um, it could be used as a runner later, but unfortunately, it does restrict that draw pass slightly. Two, three. Always straight. Just split center. Two, three. Just yeah, for split Team center. Shield, they're just hoping that they can clutter up this Always. front as much as possible. Really so uh, it doesn't matter whose Looks stones nice. are in the way, Not as many go. stones in front even? of the house Close as they curl. can get. Close curl. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay. Do that right On on its own, it should be good. Good. Nice this shot, one Joe. settles down. Do Close guard. Thought about a couple options, but they'll land on that yeah. same peel of the center guard. Megan Sapero will, will waste yeah. no time kicking out of the half. Yeah. And we'll get rid of the yellow on the side of the four foot or side of the 12 foot as well. That's a great shot by Megan Stapera. Opens up access from both sides. Almost got all three moving. That rock was only a centimeter from peeling off the one that was on the back button there. Great throw yeah. by Megan Stapera. Yeah. And we'll see a, another right, guard from yeah. Team Shield. Right. This will be like Miranda's a first I skip like a stone. Yeah. Okay. How much of this do you have right now? I'll give Quick update on sheet Jordan, three. Caden like Nebert is getting in the like hack for his one. first. He's got a short like run here in the forefoot to try and sit one and two and put the pressure on Wes with Wes's last. One more. Oh, oh, oh. Gave a little. Miranda's shot is on its oh. way. Yep. Line's good. One! We're over. Got a curl. Got a curl. If it's a one, it has to curl. Oh, it's gone. We're over. Just a high guard here from Miranda Shield. Good. Does. With, that one, with that one as high as it is, it's going to give Team Pekowitz a chance to get into the forefoot right one. now. And we'll we'll see them call a timeout, and Keith Dropkin will make his way out there once again. This is, I think, a, a good use of a timeout. This is a, a key shot in this game, a key decision for Team Pekowitz, and, and let's listen to them discuss it. Which way? Huh? This way. This way? 
I think you come this way. While, while Keith makes his way out right now, Wes Wendling is in the hack, throwing an open hit. If he's able to remove at least one Iber stone, Wes Wendling will be the 2023 USA Curling Junior Men's National Champion. Yeah. Great job by Wes. Game over. Team Wendling are your men's national champions. Back eight weight. Back eight weight, yep. Coming, Coming this way. Pack, sit. Sitting right there and tap it back the a little bit. Perfect thing is to sit and pound. Yep. Tapping is fine. Tapping is good. Um, you know, if you were if you were to miss, I guess it's to Tight. catch the yellow. Yep. But I don't think you should be thinking about that. I you got this. You need to think about this. Yep. Do you like ice like here? This. Do you like ice here, Megan? Uh -huh. Okay, maybe here? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And after discussion with Coach Keith, they decide to throw this draw. Button. Trying to get to the button. As a side note, for anybody who may plus. have been watching the men's okay. game and is simultaneously listening yep. to us on the women's game, the okay. trophy presentation and award ceremony will happen on the streaming channel for the women's final. I'm thinking like an 80, 85, 85. And as we hear the crowd cheer for the, the new men's national champions, we will watch Julia Pekowitz throw a freeze attempt here with her first skip stone in the 11th. We're a hair up. Shot is away. Good discussion from the team on what the weight is at this point. No, Carl. Saying it's a hair up. Got a curl. I think this might be a few feet heavy. They are around the guards. Got to get a piece of that yellow, though. And it'll sail by the yellow and nose their own red yeah, that was in the back eight. Okay, you're good. Okay. Huh? Yeah. And now a chance like, for a like team shield to put another stone in there. My gut says top eight. And they will also I, call a timeout. I Christine love McMakin top eight. Will, will likely if we make go her way out there. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan, if we go top four, she has nothing. That's true. If we go there and we go I guard like there, she has a chance of light. making it here. Let's I like top four, pro side guard here. Okay. If we go top four, she has absolutely okay. nothing. Pro side light though, right? Yes. Yes, pro side light. Okay. I'm going to throw a two guard weight, and if it's good, we bring it in. Okay. Just kidding. I'll throw like top 12. Top four, pro side light here. You like top four, pro side guard? Sit two. Yeah? Yeah. Kay. Let's make it. I like it. Let's okay. make it nice. Yep. 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 Yes. Really good discussion sure. there. Christine barely made it halfway down the ice before they had kind I'm of come to that decision. Here. And Four, since she five. agrees, it makes it a little bit easier. The, the error is yeah. yeah, Christine, I, I've I seen here. her now in, in I don't like mind four here. timeouts, and three of the four have I don't like a really quick visit, send a quick message, generally Guard agreeing with the, the team. and. Uh, and doing a good job adding a little bit of feedback, but I think uh, you not try to throw too long. A three and I'll and get we'll it see there. Miranda with try this oh, top four pro side light that. shot. Like 12 feet more trying than Trying to, to limit okay. the options for Julia that. Pekowitz on her last stone and, and try this to see if she precise. can squeak <laughs> a steal out here in the 11th end. Like 50, 45. 40, 45. Okay. Last shot here for Miranda Shield in the 11th end. Back four. Early indication for Tessa Thurlow is that it's heavy. Got to curl a mile. Heavy and wide. Back four. Has to curl a mile. Might be able to use the corner guard. As long as she gets to the inside of it and is able to split in, it's fine. You just don't want to roll too far. Sit. Okay. Rolls, but I don't think that takes away the draw that, that Julia wants to throw. That's that's, that's the line yeah, they really wanted up. it on, but by opening up that corner, it allows her kind of more room to work with on that draw okay, path. Yeah, I think it was just a lot of weight. No hesitation Why by Julia. She's yeah. going to stick with this out turn. She's got to touch I a, a few inches weight, of that been. button yeah, circle with her final shot in the 11th end. 
nothing but confidence from this team as they get her ready to throw this rock. is away from Switch Julia Pekowitz. Sweepers like the weight. Curl. And now it's with the sweepers. Oh, I don't want to go yet. Trying to curl it in. And they get it to the forefoot. Hard, Joel. Hard. Go, Joel. Go, Joel. And it will just slide by for a steal for Team Shield. Yeah, and so Team Miranda Shield will sorry, pull doing. out a steal in the 11th end and will win the Junior yes. Women's National yeah. Championship here. What a back and forth game and and a tough, tough finish for both teams and a great, great battle, great uh, posit positive energy for both teams and just an incredible win for Team Shield to uh, to win this final. John, what a game. I, I'm so glad you're able to talk right now because I was stunned. It's That was such a competitive match. Just like all the battles have been this week, that was an incredible game. And to have it come down to the last like, shot in an extra end, um, okay. I, it's, that's all you ask for as a fan. Uh, and you just wish these girls the best moving forward. Your gloves down here. Oh, what a game. Heartbreak for, for Team uh, Pekowitz, but an, an incredible week by them. Just really, really showing their skills. And, and for Team Shield, uh, an incredible battle. They, uh, they got down several times in this game and were able to battle back every time. Absolute joy and elation for Team Shield. And you know what? I have to give credit to Team Pekowitz. You can see them. They're sticking together as a team. They're 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 unified in this, and they're still proud of everything they accomplished this week, which should never be sneezed at. Yeah. Amy McMay can join Team Shield for the celebration out there. And you can see the, the happiness and the relief from this team. Just a, a battle all week and, and able to accomplish their goal, and they are national champions. It's It's been a quite a year for that team, and to see them kind of finish it off here in Broomstones, in Wayland, Massachusetts, with a hard-fought national championship, cover to cover, undefeated the whole way, just like the men's team, it's really special for them. Yeah, and that, that cap with a, a, a win from Team Wendling and a win from Team Shield, that caps off a, a really incredible week here at the Broomstones Curling Club in Whalen, Massachusetts. Uh, as we see uh, head ice tech uh, Dan Ostheimer performing a, another job and in, in carrying some banners around, I uh, just want to say thanks again to the incredible ice crew who have put put in so much effort all both? week and, and put together this incredible surface for the athletes to play on. Uh, and and also uh, the all the volunteers at Broomstones Curling Club, uh, the, the organizing committee, the, the kitchen staff, the bar staff, everybody uh, who was here to volunteer, the host families, and, uh, and really an incredible week. And thanks to Curling Stadium for uh, providing the streaming here all week, four sheets, uh, got every game, uh, recorded live and saved for uh, future watching. So if there's anything you want to go back to watch, uh, definitely take advantage of that. And uh, really just can't say enough about uh, about the quality of this event uh, and and uh, what a great showing the athletes put on and uh, and all the all the work that went on behind the scenes to uh, to support them from their families, the coaches and and everybody here at Brimstone's uh, great week. And Sean, thank you for uh, for also joining me up here. Uh, this has been a ton of fun. It's a it's an honor and a privilege always. I mean, you have you've played in a number of these yourselves, some of them in this building, I feel like, as you mentioned. And I think this is this is just such a fantastic event, such a fantastic venue. And like you said, for everybody who put in hours and days and weeks and months to make this happen and to the athletes themselves who put, laid it all on the ice this week um, after an amazing season for so many teams. It's just fantastic to see. It's it's great to see the strength of junior curling in this country and around the world and what it means for the growth of this sport as a whole. So thank you. And for everybody back home who tuned in or showed up or did whatever this weekend, 
to make this event happen and to support it. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And just a final recap on uh, on the playoffs here. Team Shield undefeated through the round robin and undefeated through the playoffs, and they are your national champion. They they won the one two game and they won this final in an incredible battle with Team Pekowitz. Team Pekowitz took the long way to the final, and almost had it in the end but an incredible week a great silver medal performance for team pekowitz uh something they should all be incredibly proud of uh but team shield is your your 2023 women's junior national champion on the men's side a similar story team wendling was was the class of the field in the round robin going undefeated a couple close games one against uh your your uh the team that you coach sean but they were able to to hold strong in all the games they played they won the one two game last night over senzali and they won the uh the final here against a bear to claim the national championships a bear also an incredible week they won the u18s earlier this year and they really showed showed their strength as a team uh in a, in a great job there to get the silver and and team senzali will take home the bronze and also a, a very strong week from that team finished second in the in the round robin and and will clinch the bronze and I, I did also, I, I forgot to mention Team Johnson, who, who gets the bronze on the women's side. That a very a young team who was incredibly impressive all week. Uh, they, they had a, a very consistent strategy, had incredible technical form, and that will be a team to watch for, for many years to come here in juniors and, and likely for a long time with, with how, how well they've, uh, they've developed already and the, the uh, competitive games they the, the, they had all week. Uh, just a, an incredible performance by all the teams, ev everyone who, who joined us this week. And uh, and we're getting set up now for the uh, the award ceremony that will be out on the ice and I believe will be emceed by uh, Dean Gemmel. Yeah, I think it, the most promising thing about all of this, and you kind of touched on it, is in this entire field of 16 teams and 64 athletes or plus, there's only a couple that are aging out this year. Um, this field should look, bar, barring any new teams coming up, this field should look very similar next year as it does uh, this year. And I think that's really promising. It's exciting. Uh, you mentioned there's a lot of young teams. We have 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds uh, throughout this field. And it's, it's really cool to see the growth of that. So for all you out there who competed this week, we'll see you next year. Good luck. And a quick shot here uh, of the crowd sticking around for the award ceremony at Broomstones. Just been an incredible crowd all, all week. You've probably heard it in the background of this game, the, the cheers and the, the groans and the gasps as, as uh, all those shots went down. And uh, thanks to all, the whole crowd and uh, quick view of us. And, and it was been a, been a privilege to be to be up in the booth for, for a few of the games this week. And uh, uh, really glad to be to have been a, a part of this with with you, Sean, with uh, producer John Benton, and with everybody else who who joined in the booth. Uh, it's been a been a great crew. I did a few games, but nowhere, not even close to half of them. There were a lot of people up here rotating through, and uh, that that cast really really helps make this this work. So, so thank you to everyone uh, who who helped out with the broadcast. Absolutely. And I, and I think with that, we will call it up here and uh, we'll hand it off to uh, the, the on-ice closing ceremony. Stick around on this channel to uh, watch, watch that and uh, the, the vocals for that will come from the ice. So I think that will be it for us here in the booth. Thank you everybody who uh, tuned in this week.
Where you want him to line up out there?
Saints, giving us this incredible facility to use. Thank you so much to Brooksville for allowing Junior Nationals to use this beautiful facility. It is now my great honor and privilege to introduce to you the Chairman of the Board of United States Curling, Brett Jackson. Good evening and congratulations on a fantastic 2023 Junior Nationals here at the Broomstones Curling Club. What an incredible week of competition. I could not be more proud of all of the athletes that uh, were here all week, uh, pouring their hearts out on the ice. Uh, and today's games were just uh, incredible finishes to, to a fantastic week. I just want to thank very quickly every single person at Broomstones for putting on such an, such an exceptional event and all of the volunteers that came in from around uh, to be part of it. So please uh, give it again to Broomstones and the volunteers for everything that's I now give it over to Dean Gemmel. Thanks, Brett. Uh, we made a commitment in November to deliver great championships, and we can't do it without great host partners like we have here at Greenstone. So I'll thank them too. Particularly, I want to thank Dick here, Dick Dawson, event chair with Jen Shunikov. They did just a terrific job for us all week. So thanks, Dick and Jen. I've said it in every championship this season, but it bears repeating in that I continue to be amazed by the willingness of our curling community to step up and contribute to improve our game and our organization. So for that, I'm ever, forever grateful. Uh, I also want to thank our officiating crew, headed up by Angela Tonis. Our ice crew, headed up by Dan Alzheimer.
Alright, we got photos here in front of this. You want to get photos in front of the band? There we go. Alright, everybody, that's Team Johnson. Congratulations. And the junior men's cross medalist, Team Senzel, Nick Senzel, Daniel Walker, Shaheen Kassiri, Dylan Kepkin, and their coaches, Wayne Anderson and Bill Walker. I always say we have to improve everything we do in USA Curling. We'll still have to keep improving just close up the same office. The lineup. Next up, a team you may know here at Brimstone, the 2023 USA Girl and Junior Women's Silver Bowl's team, Pekowitz. Julia Pekowitz, Megan Stoker, Madison Neal, Kelly Price, Alexa Pekowitz, and their coaches, Shelby and Keith Drockton. Congratulations, Team Pekowitz. Yeah. Next up, the 2023 USA Girl and Junior Men's Silver Medalist, Team Hebert.
Team Shield, congratulations. Four-time junior national events champion Ben Richardson. Congratulations to all the teams.